Okay, welcome. Welcome to the uh, Eggplant Show plays and t teaches and plays Andy and Abyss. Um, I'm glad that we finally managed to get this together and scheduled. Um, I'm here with uh, friends of the show who have been helping me out before. Uh, Steve's here. Hey, Steve. Hey, I'm Steve Gellum, also known as Ozymandias AV. I'm on, on the Discord and occasional community streamer. You've seen me around. Definitely, definitely. You've streamed a bunch of uh, Sheeran. You've done all the Sheeran. You've done all the Sheeran stuff, which I think we never archived that. Is that true, Steve? Yeah, yeah. We'll have to figure out something with that. But but yeah, um, yeah. Sheeran. Um, we did um, some <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom a couple weeks ago. Um, so, so, yep. Brian, hey. Hey, morning. I'm Brian, new object on the Discord, and shamed previous owner of five or six volumes of coin that I all traded away because I couldn't play the bots against myself. So I'm excited to play against humans finally. I, I wish you still had those because I would get, I would grab them off of you in a heartbeat. Um, wait, did you even have Andy and Abyss? I did, yeah. Because it's impossible to come by now. It's like it's really? unobtainium. Yeah, yeah uh. no, it's really weird. Some, it's like I don't, I don't. Sometimes I don't fully understand P500. Like why they don't don't just put it back up the second it's out of print and see if uh, if five hundred people want it, but whatever. Hey John, welcome to Hello. welcome to our streams. Good to have you. Cheers, thanks. Uh, I'm John Gill. I my first time doing eggplant stuff, but I'm John Gill in the Discord. Surprise, surprise. Uh, I'm a Seattle-based game designer. Nice. Well, and you and uh, a quick learner turns out. <laughs> Yeah, cause you, that remains to be seen. Well, I'm just saying, because before we had played PAX Premier with you, had you ever played PAX Premier before that? No, that was my first time. Yeah, and then you like immediately started wiping the floor. Like, <laughs> I think that took like four or five games, but, it but went I, I've had a couple fast. wins. It went pretty fast. I was like, ooh, okay, okay. Because it's like, that game is always like, who's the threat? And not to go not to go too far off off Andy and Abyss here, but like we're, we have a game running right now where I just got destroyed. And I think that I think Brian's comment in the in the on the Discord was you seemed so threatening. And I'm like, I, I trust me, I am very aware of this phenomenon. Right. <laughs> it makes it also easy for someone to take the target and paint it on my head. And the reason I know mm -hmm. this is because like a little bit over a decade ago, when I started hanging out with Zach Gage, who is a co-host on the show, we would play Settlers of Catan and I can't win that game against him. It's impossible. He does two things. <laughs> One, he's like when he's like sort of going to be winning, he points to me and everyone believes him. And I can't, there's nothing I can do. I'm like, no, 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 guys, everyone. Mm -hmm. Like Zach's, Zach's going to win. And they're like, no, dude, you're, no, he's not. I'm like, why not? And then Zach does this other thing where they look at him and he, and he flashes his pretty eyes. Um, and just goes like, oh no, it's, it's like almost like a, like a, like a Puss in Boots thing. Right? Like, you know, where, where Puss in Boots like holds the hat like this, he can do that to people. Right. And then people are like, ah, Zach's so cute. He's not going to win. And of course, he, of course, he wins. And of course, I lose, even though I was never going to win in the first place. So I am very aware of the phenomenon. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it we'll see how much emotional manipulation is in play for this stream and how many of our dynamics we, from Pax Premier, you know, we we'll, will we'll see if the pile on continues. We will see. OK, so let's get with that with that like little preamble out of the way. Let's get to this game uh, and in Abyss. Any Abyss is the first game in a series of games that go under mm. the uh, COIN acronym, which sounds, stands for uh, Counter Insurgency. Um, and at this point, I think they're not all out yet, but I think there are 15 volumes in the series or something like that with like 10 out and like the 11th being shipped right now, but four more in development. They have they just released their COIN pack. Which is a which is a box with four separate coin games that are all two player that depict uh, the end of the British Empire. So it's a it's and it's been going on for ten years, right? So if you look here on the site, it says copyright twenty twelve GMT Games. Designers Volko Runke. And the funny thing for me with Volko's games is that the first game I ever played of his is Nevsky. <laughs> so so he has a new series called the Levian Campaign series, and I started with the newest. And now I'm working my way back because I have Labyrinth and of course, Wilderness War is another Volker Runke game that's also on Rally the Troops that I have also never played, right? So I'm working my way backwards. And the other piece of context here that we can discuss while we're playing is that this is, uh, this is directly, this, this series of counterinsurgency, which relies heavily 
on asymmetric wind conditions, asymmetric actions, is, is a direct inspiration for Root, right? So that's another reason. And I'm anyone who's ever listened to the show knows how much of a fan I am of Cole Worley's designs. So this is a, was another reason why I wanted to play this. Now, my prior knowledge coming into this is that I had played, I think, one or two games of Cuba Libre, which is the second game in the series that is always uh, described as, like, the best start. If you want to start the coin series, start here. I think that may have changed in the meantime, but... The reason for that is the map is super small. Like Cuba is like, I don't know, six areas or seven areas at most. And as we start this game, you'll already see that the map is a little bit more complicated, but not, it's not that more complicated. It's not, it's not that wild. So yeah, this is, this game uh, is a, is a abstraction, obviously a simulation of Colombia in the nineties when uh, the counterinsurgents are basically the government Right? The government are trying to keep everything together. And there are three separate insurgent fac uh, factions. There's the left-wing FARC, uh, the right-wing AUC, and the cartels. Right, So it's like, oh, and here's a, here's a p piece of trivia. And I'm going to ask this question to, to the three of you to see what you can guess. Uh, I'm a big fan of Wits and Wagers, which is a game where you do exactly this. What do you think... At the height of their of the at the height of their activity, how much money do you think those cartels made daily, and specifically the Medellin cartel? Can you do you have any? Can anyone wager a guess, and then people take the over and under, and we see where we land? So the daily income, um, without looking at Wikipedia, because that's where you'll find it. I, I got to do some math. I was going to guess like billions of dollars a year. So I guess like if, if we slice and dice down to a day. Um, yeah, daily income. I mean, are we talking, are we talking 100 million a day? You're I don't not, know if that line. You're not too far off. I bl uh, it blew my mind. Absolutely. Well, let's say 100 million is over under. If we want to say that as our point. Yeah, um, yeah. I'd, I'd like to be over. Uh, yeah. How about Brian? What do you think? Over or under? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go. I agree with the order of magnitude, but I guess I'll go over. Wow. Yeah, you guys are all right. So it's 188 million a day. A day. Wow. <laughs> I was gonna guess 200, so I feel pretty good about myself. You're really, you would have won. Yeah, you would have won this round of wits and wagers. I you would have had the prices right. Blew yeah. my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. Yeah, it was like something like 70 billion a year. I was like, okay, I I can now see how that caused a lot of dismay, right? When you have when you have these amounts of funds. And of course, this game... Yeah, go ahead. It has to be enough money to essentially destabilize a government, right? To like fund a, a shadow government. I was gonna say, what was the GDP of Colombia at the time? I, 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 less is my guess. Or, yeah, or probably. Something. It's wild, right? So that probably led to the destabilization. But then the interesting thing is I listened to, so uh, Cardboard Creations is a, is a podcast series uh, run on Board Game Geek. Um, and Volker was interv interviewed on that, I think, I don't know, a month or two ago. And I listened to the interview and he's saying that it's interesting because now in hindsight, uh, Colombia is actually an example of counterinsurgency gone okay like, or where the counterinsurgency quote unquote worked. I always, I'm very careful about the term worked. Um, but I guess the FARC were the last of the insurgents and they laid down arms officially not that long ago. I don't know when it was, is it 2018, 2016, something like that. Like not 20 years ago, but supposedly this has since calmed down and now they're considered a stable Republic. So we're, but that's not what we're playing. We're playing when it's like, I think it's around the 90s when the Medellin cartel is still working, but about to crush, which was, I think, was around 94. Anyway, I'm giving all this historical context just so that we have a, like a little bit of flavor because the game itself is, I mean, it ha the flavor comes from the cards and we'll get to that in a second. So I'm going to I'm going to start a game. Let's hear. Let's just do this. Create a new game. Now we're going to play the quick start scenario. What does that mean? I pulled it up already. Instead of using... 72 minus 12, so 60 event cards, we're only going to be using 24, right? So what that does is basically halves the, the amount of time. Um, the way the game is scored is through propaganda cards that pop up in this deck. And again, for all of you here who are listening and don't know Pax Premier, that's kind of how Pax Premier works, right? When you seed the deck with these different events, 
called the domination cards and those are the ones that are basically turned into scoring rounds it's a little bit more involved in this game but it's also very flow charty so not that big of a deal so no one has and the setup where troops go is i think vastly different from the full game now the full game takes six hours <laughs> so i we're not doing that we're, we it would actually be nice if we could get through this game uh, by say noon ish uh pacific um, and so we'll, we'll just see how far we get. We're only going to have two scoring rounds, which means similar to Pax Premier, if a faction has reached their win condition, when that card triggers, the game ends right there. So there's a chance, I'd say a very slim one, but a chance that the game could end on the first propaganda card. And if not, then we play out the second propaganda card, and then there's a way to score if the factions still haven't met their win condition. So I'll just leave it at that. So we're going to play the quick start. We're going to play four player. We're not going to do seated propaganda. I'm going to call this uh, egg plan because I always love doing that dot show. We are not going to do random player rules. I'm going to say private, private, you know, anyone who uses RTT. All this does is basically means that the game's not listed, but you can still share it if you want to invite people into it. All right. So now I sit, hit create. And now what I have to do here, as I quickly realize this, is I have to copy this, and then I will paste it into our Discord channel so that you all can click on that link that I just shared with you and then join for your respective factions. So I'm going to be playing the government. Um, so I'm going to click on that. And the government is, so for people who've played Root, the government it, it are the cats. <laughs> and if you've ever played Root with me, you know I freaking hate the cats right so because yeah because i mean you're you're <laughs> you're in the you're quote unquote in the lead which we i think you know we've discussed is like just always a dangerous place to be um, means you're the biggest target you got the biggest target and you have a bunch of income and you have a ton of money and a ton of resources and a bunch of aid right and aid models basically that the that the u.s is in support um but uh, it can, so it has a couple of downsides, not the least of which being that everyone hates you. But also the other big, big, big downside, there we go. The other big downside is that your actions cost more. So the insurgent operations usually cost one resource and that the, the re it's called resource, but it's basically your money. Um, whereas the government actions cost three, uh, but we'll get to that. So I'm gonna hit start and then I'm going to click on my name and then I will be in the game. Wow. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move. Let's see. Did I, I'm making sure this is not zoomed in or something. Oops. I mean, while you're doing this, probably worth shouting out Rally the Troops as just a fantastic place to play these games. Yeah. Like, we have the full recreation of, um, like, scanned in of the, the art, which is very colorful. Yeah. Um, like maybe more colorful than I was expecting, but it's, it's, um, a, it, it's amazing. Volker Runke is actually, I mean, so all the games here are, are available courtesy of, of, I guess, Jim T or the publisher, or the designer and Volker Runke actually hangs out in the rally, the troops discord as a lot. Like, answering questions. Yeah. I, I would so, go as far as to say that he's maybe the most active person on that, on that discord server, uh, alongside yeah. Tor, who's the developer, <laughs> the lead developer, yeah. right? No, he's deeply, deeply involved in this. Um, and I think the last time someone poked him on what else would you put on Rally the Troops, he said that I think GMT's policy right now is to, you know, this is their way of testing the waters. So they're willing to put out a game of each series. So it's unlikely cool. we're going to see another coin or another um, Levian campaign, I think, because I think uh -huh. GMT is still trying to figure out what their digital strategy is, which I don't know what that. I think all it can mean is that they uh, are partnering up with Playdeck. Um, which is a mobile game developer who did Ascension and a yep. ton of other games, including um, Labyrinth and Twilight Struggle and I have it down there somewhere, uh, Fort Sumter. Those are the three games that I think they put out as Play Deck like mobile games. Anyway. I would, I would love to see GMT games come with... Um... Basically, if you buy the game, you get access to the digital version because 
Yes. Playing the game is great, but I found that it takes digital to be able to play them realistically yeah. so far for me. But I don't know, you know, who knows what the economics of that would be. I would, um, yeah, these are, also, yeah. Sorry, sorry. These are incredibly dense games, like mechanically dense. You know, I think these are games that sometimes people struggle to get to the table. You know, it's like you buy it, but finding an audience uh, that'll go on the journey with you can be really difficult. Yeah. So, yeah, I agree. Like, I, and this is where I think Rally the Troops shines in particular because, you know, the, the project, it's open source. You know, it, 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 it's very snappy to play through. The community is very supportive. Um, right. It's really a, a great place to play this game and, and, and other games like it. And I definitely would love to see it as a part of the future for GMT. But I anyway. 100% agree with, obviously, I agree with this, but like, I'm sure that there's some economic things that are the reality of the matter right because i always well whatever let's i'm like let's talk about the economics of p500 like i i don't i don't know them right but i always speculate about this stuff um yep. anyway let's get to this okay so what are we seeing here well there's a map of columbia and you can see that the factions already have a bunch of pieces out right so that's basically how this game is seated and now I think what I'm going to start with is going over the map and the different factions and the different units so that you see what that means. After that, I'll talk about this, this track on the outer rim of the gate board, which is the score track, but also the resources track. Um, then I'll talk about the sequence of play, which this box here is the core of coin, in my opinion, right? It goes along with these event cards here on the right. Um, and that, forms the backbone of everything, right? And uh, con in connection with the victory conditions, but it's a lot to take in. So I'm gonna start slow and then we can get into the game. And I think we're just gonna like flail through it, but we'll see. Um, so there are four factions. As I said, I'm the government, uh, Steve's the FARC, uh, John's the AUC and uh, Brian's the cartels. Um, and they have, vi Asymmetric victory conditions, and I don't think I th even even the insurgents. It's not like y'all are friends. <laughs> like you're not really like yeah, you're we're buddies. Let's mess with the government. No, you like one's the far left and the other's the far right, and then you have the rich people, right? Like the rich drug yeah. dealers. So they they have there's very... definitely ideological yeah. opposition here, right? Like we're all Massive. looking to overthrow things, but but to our own ends. Right. Exactly. I did ask which faction is going to be easiest uh to play uh and it was apparently the uh the far right <laughs> insurgents so read what whatever you want into that politically speaking i mean there's a lot to take there's a lot to dissect here right with in terms of like hmm, what does this mean uh, i do love that about these games and we can talk about it at length once we get into the actual activity so what's going on here um you'll see uh that right now we have all these pieces on the board what are the pieces the pieces, for the most part, are going to be different between the insurgents and the counterinsurgents. So I'm the government, and the government has cubes. So it's the easiest thing to see that the government has these dark blue and light blue cubes. They're up here in my resources, in my reserves. I have 30 of each, and then I have three available bases. And then there's also this box with government capabilities. We'll get to that later. Um, and the difference between the troops and the police is important, but also something that I can explain on the fly. It has to do with how I sway public opinion and how much I can prevent people from doing terrorist actions, which is one of the main things that the insurgents can do to sway public opinion. And the swaying of public opinion in this game is a tug of war between active support and active opposition. So whenever you see this little blue token here, that like, for example, in Medellin, right? Oh, and by the way, if you ever click on the globe in the upper left, that's how you can get rid of two stages of icons on the board if you want to read what's underneath it. So if I click it once, it'll just show me these tokens. Active support means basically plus two for the government, and active opposition means minus two for the government. But all it means is there's a scale there that goes from minus two to plus two in five steps. So it can be neutral, it can be zero. There's no token there, that just means zero. Um, I can't see anywhere right now where there's like passive opposition. You'll see when that happens because it will be a light red and passive support is light blue. And then it will say times one and not times two. So that's a tug of war between the FARC and the government. 
So then you have, then you're like, well, what does the AUC and the cartels do? They're doing a thing, but they have no interest in any of these areas, which are split into departments when they're like Cordoba or a city when they're like Medellin, right? Um, they have no interest in it being active or passive anything. They want it to be neutral because for them, this all this means is that FARC or government is getting more popular opinion, pop popular support. And for those two factions, popular support is their main win condition. The, for the other factions, it's different, and I'll explain that in a, in, a, in a bit. But that's just important to note when you see these active opposition, active support tokens. Um, the ones that say FARC control or government control are more like reminders. A faction can have control in a department or a city if their piece is there, so basically they're all of their pieces, the discs and the cylinders, outnumber the sum total of the other pieces. Right, so down here in, it's, it's covered up right now, it's always gonna happen. In Huila, Tolima, um, FARC has control because they have five and all other together have three, right? Now, control is a state that a thing can be in and sometimes it influences whether you can do a thing or not. So sometimes an action will say, in departments where you have control. Um, and you'll already see, because of that, neither the AUC nor the cartels can have quote unquote control anywhere. There are no control tokens for them because that state doesn't matter for any of their actions. Um, so those are those little chits. Uh, the cubes are the government and the cube disks are the government uh, bases and the bases for the government, they only have three. The bases are the only way in which the government can start uh, permanently deploying troops to regions that are not cities. Because if they have troops in regions that are not cities, after a propaganda phase, they have to relocate them back to the cities. So troops are not, can't just hang out. They're not, they're not, they're not insurgents, right? They need a base to be able to hang out. Um, and getting bases out and police is like, is, is fiddly, right? Which is why it's a good thing that I'm playing the government. Um, and we'll get to what that means in a second, but that's the government. Now, all the insurgent factions look similar in that, yes, they too have bases, which are these little round disks, but they also have these cylinders. Um, now they, they're octagons, right? Which is, which when you're playing this game physically is lovely because it means they don't roll away. Um, if you've ever played uh, Power Grid, you know what I'm talking about. So it's annoying when something is an actual cylinder because then it's just like, bye. Um, by the way, you guys still here? Like, hello. Yes. I, I'm, so, I'm laughing on you. <laughs> I'm just like, we're, like letting you go, letting you go. The rolling power grid pieces. Yeah, I'm just like, I hope everyone's still here. I hope I'm not. I hope the internet didn't break. I'm talking into the <laughs> void. No, we're all good. Great, great. Okay, so these are your gorillas, and the discs are the bases. And the gorillas can be in one of two states. And I think for that, I'm going to briefly flip over. I can think I can close this now to the rules of play because there's a nice illustration here, which is, right, they're either underground, which is what you're seeing on the map right now, or they're active. So if you flip them over, they have a little star on them. Um, and as you may be able to guess, all that means is, well, it means a lot of different things. But for the most part, what it means is when they're underground, they're invisible to the government. The government can't really do anything. Insurgents can fight each other even when they're underground, but the government has to do this action called sweep to flip them up so that they're visible and can be attacked. We'll get to the actions of all the different factions in a bit. We're gonna go over them really fast and then we'll explain them in detail when we actually get to the play because they're nicely explainable as what they do. And then when we start playing, we can actually like, oh, and here's how you do them. Um, so those are these pieces, right? And you need, you know, you need them to terrorize and do all like build bases and all kinds of other stuff. Um, and the only difference now is that, well, FARC has more ba more available bases than AUC. You'll see that over here on the cartels, they also have shipments, and shipments are is straight up drugs, right? And it's another way for the cartels to make money, get extra operations. Uh, but it comes with a beautiful risk, uh, like push your luck slash risk thing, where when you use them, when you use the action that gets you the shipments, you have to put them under your gorillas. And if your gorillas get killed, 
then those shipments go to the opponent. So then they can cash them in, right? So they're basically stealing your drugs from you. Um, so just, just Brian, so you know, this is, I think the shipments are the, are, are the, are the funnest part of playing the cartels. Um, because you're always going to be a little bit like, can I do this? Can I get away with this? Um, that said, they only cash in during the propaganda phase, but again, we'll get to that in a second. Okay. So that's the map in rough strokes. Again, all these different areas like Vichada, Meta East, these are all departments. Everything that's a circle here, like Bogota is a city. Um, and now you'll see these things here that kind of look like someone said coffee beans the other day. These are pipelines. <laughs> and the number on them means that's the economic value of that pipeline or that road. Roads and pipelines together count as lines of communication. So every now and then in the rules, you'll see an abbreviation that says LOC. Um, and what those are, are at the propaganda card, when the government gets money, they get 30 minus any of these pipelines or communication lines that have been sabotaged by guerrillas. So it's a way to stifle the income for the government. I, they exist in Cuba Libra as like economic centers. They're called ECs in Cuba Libra. Um, I think it's an advanced strategy. I've, I've never seen anyone really engage with it on a deep level yet, but maybe you all will prove me wrong because I'm not, I'm going to be the person to quote unquote defending them. I can deploy police to them so that your guerrillas can't sabotage them. But in the games I've played up to now, that's literally been barely like a, a an area where there's a lot of interaction because they I are. Think so I read, Go ahead. I was gonna say, I think I read some posts from Volko just the other day saying how, you know, doesn't necessarily recommend Cuba Libre as the starting point because it doesn't really have LOCs and like to ignore LOCs while you play is like a huge strategic mistake. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I agree. They're, they're, it's hard to grok them for some reason. That's something I always struggle with with coin games. Um, but apparently they're, you know, critical <laughs> to, to play with them. I bet, I bet they're critical, but they're like also like it's weird that they're so they're considered spaces, right? So yes, they are the boundary between Magdalena and oh God, here we go again and Bolivar. And you can just right. walk from Magdalena to Bolivar in one step, but you can also go to the line of communication between it and put a gorilla there, right? So, yeah, the the adjacency rules I remember being interesting. Well, why, absolutely, all three of those things are adjacent. They're all adjacent, and the towns also make everything adjacent. So these little black dots are not spaces, but they count for adjacency. Wow. <laughs> But again, okay. the, this the the, lo the lovely thing about rally the troops is that, is that it will do all like it'll show you where you can do something, right? So that's always going to be like, oh, I can get that far. That's cool, right? That's pretty much what's going to happen. Um, so that's the map. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to explain is what is actually what is actually happening. Like, what are we actually trying to do, right? So. This track out around the outer edge that goes, I think, all the way to 99, which I've never seen it there, but it goes there, has a bunch of tokens on it. And the main tokens are these little oppose and bases, aid, total support, that kind of stuff. And then the others are these disks that look pretty much the same as the disks here on the sequence of play. The disks are your current resources. So AUC has five, uh, FARC has 10, Cartels have 20 and uh, the government has 30. So that's just our starting resources. Aid is, is an amount of resources that you get on top of the 30 minus sabotage lines of communication from the US is my assumption, right? So right now that's nine. It can go down to zero, it can go up to 30. There are a bunch of event cards that influence the amount of aid, <clears throat> but that's only paid out again on a scoring round when the propaganda cards come up. Um, uh, now you'll see here, let's get to the win conditions because I think that's important. So this red marker here says op oppose plus bases, but what that means is total opposition plus number of bases. So right now, if you added up all the red disks on the board, plus every department or city where the FARC has active or passive opposition multiplied by the population. So this little square, this one here, or this eight on Bolivia, that's the population. And so when you have active or passive opposition or active or passive support, you are getting that population on your side. 
right? So again, if you just added all that up now, you look at all the red markers for here, for, for this area here, for Huila to Lima, it would be four, right? Because it's two population times two opposition. Um, if you add all that up, you'll get to 22. So that's what this marker does. And when you're playing in person, you have to like update it every time something changes. Obviously in RTT, it's gonna happen automatically. Uh, FARC wins if on a beginning of a propaganda round, they have 26 or more opposition plus bases. They just, the game straight up ends, right? Um, the government has, does not count bases. All they count is their support, right? So it's a lot, right? So active support in Bogota is immediately 16, but they also need to get to 61, right? And they're dangerously close, as is, as is the FARC, right? So you're starting off in a situation, because it's the quick start scenario, where you're like, everyone's like almost at their win condition, um, which makes it pretty interesting right off the bat. Um, now, the AUC is amazing, right? The AUC literally has one win condition, and that is, do you have more bases out than FARC? That's it. You, which I... I I notice right now FARC starts with six in this setup and I have a max of six, so you do, you do. So you're gonna it's gonna be in your interest for the FARC to lose bases. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's but it's also like a beautifully simple win condition to be like, okay, I just need to make sure that no one else wins in the meantime, but the FARC bases need to go down and my bases need to go up. Um, because the other thing is if the game ends after the second propaganda card and none of us have met our win condition, uh, then we just check who's farthest away from the win condition. And for the AUC, it's like right now, you are five away from the win condition, right? You'd need, which of course you can't get to it, you'd have to reduce them by one, but your distance right now is five. The distance for, and it goes for you, it goes to like, actually, no, I think it's four because I think it's just if you're equal. Here it's four. Here it's three, right? So everyone's like kind of on the same scoring right now. Uh, the only one that's a little bit more, well, it's not that much more complicated. The cartels need to have more than 10 bases and 41 or more resources, right? So you need to meet both of those. And if you don't, you have not met your win condition. So they need to be rich and have a lot of casinos or processing plants or whatever. It, it's not casinos, right? In, in uh, Cuba Libre, it's cas cas casinos. Because cartels' bases are like processing plants. That's where they get their shipments from and stuff. It, based on some of the government actions, I think it, the game loves to clarify like what its things represent in the rules, but they're cagey about this. But yeah. I think it's pretty clear that these are drug farms. Yeah, they are drug farms. You can also relocate. You can relocate them, right? And all kinds of stuff like that. Ooh, let's quick. They caught us. Let's go here, right? No, it's pretty funny. Um, so that's so there. You can already see. So that's one of the big asymmetries of this game. Right, because what they did, what what Cole and Co did in in Root is they symmetrized the win condition to the you need thirty points, right? So they basically changed, they put way more asymmetry in the actions and less or no asymmetry in the win conditions. But this one here does a little bit of both. In fact, some of the actions are not nowhere close to as asymmetric as the Root actions, which is why I think this game is actually easier to teach. Um, but we'll get to the actions last. Let's get to the core of the game. The core of the game is this thing right here, where it says sequence of play. That, along with these event cards, right? So you'll see here's the event card deck. It has 24 cards in it. And we know that in those 24 cards, um, there are two propaganda cards. And it's four cards. Sorry, it's four stacks of six cards. And it's the propaganda cards are shuffled into the second and the fourth stack, right? So we know we have at least six cards of no propaganda round coming up. Now, why are there already two cards here? Well, you flip the first card and the second card. So we right now are on Tingo Maria. That is the card that is currently active, but we do know we have a preview onto the second card, which I learned from that interview happened during development they did not have this at first they were just showing one card and people were like having a bad time and the second they revealed the second card it got a lot better and you'll see why when you see what the icons at the top mean um so these are the order in which the factions go right that's straight up and you'll see that over here on the eligible factions box 
all four of our factions are there, and they're sorted in that order, which is what they recommend you do when you're playing the game physically. And because of that, it is currently Brian's turn, right? So Brian is the first eligible faction, and every card will have two people going. That doesn't mean they both use the event, but two people get to act on a card. So if, for example, Brian and Steve both take their actions now, this card goes away and then Kill Zone becomes the next active card, active card and we draw a new card. Then those two factions become ineligible and then the next two become eligible and then that, that becomes a whole like cycle where for one round you'll be ineligible if you went on the last round. What's this thing in the middle? So this thing in the middle basically says if the first player chooses this box, this box, or this box for their activity, then the second player can only go along the line. They can't, if the first player does the first faction op with no special activity, I'll explain it later, then the second faction can't pick the event, right? All they can pick is the second faction limited operation. And that's a way to limit what the other players can do because sometimes these events are extremely powerful, right? For the most part, the cards have two possible events. So right now, we're not seeing this, but, but uh, Brian is seeing this. Both of these actions are clickable for you, right? You could do the top or the bottom. The top usually, not always, but usually favors the government, whereas the bottom tends to favor one of the insurgent factions. Um, and if you're first to go, you can guess that probably it's you, <laughs> right? So Hardy Coca variety. Within stacking, place an available cartel's base into each force that already has one. Interesting. So I didn't say what stacking means, and I mess it up all the time myself. Stacking only means that any department or city can have at most two bases. That's all it means. There's no limit on guerrillas or anything else, but they can have at most two bases. So for example, Guaviara over here you cannot, that is the forest, but you cannot put another cartels base in there without removing the FARC base first. Um, so that's what within stacking means. Um, now the next thing, and this is where we get to the actions is, if you do not pick the event, then your options are as follows. So now I'm gonna go over here. So this is the thing, oh, here's the cards. Oh God, here are all the cards. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into that. This is the thing that we're gonna be looking at quite a bit, right? This is the menu of actions and it's split up. Like when you play this physically, it's actually, it's like a fold open that has like, you know, four sides, one for each of the government, FARC, AUC and cartel, and then like a little part for the propaganda card. And this is what happens. These are the steps you have to follow when a propaganda card comes up. Now you'll see the propaganda card come up, right? Because the, the second card will become the active card. You pull a new card, and th if that's a propaganda card, you know that the next round, the next turn, will be a propaganda round, right? So, the, so at least the two front-running eligible factions still have some actions they can carry out before the propaganda card triggers. So these are the actions you can do. So oh, you know what I'm going to do now? I think I'm going to close. Well, I'm going to close at least the playbook, and then I'm going to... Sorry, go not full screen. I move this over here so that it's closer and I don't have to constantly go over the rule book. Um, so you can either do the event or you can do the faction operation with special activity or the faction operation with no special activity. So let's go to the cartels. Um, the cartels actions and the AUCs and the FARC are all, almost the same, not, the, not quite. They all have rally, march, attack, and terror as their insurgent operation. Not, the special activities are, very, are quite different. Of course, the insurgent operations differ a little bit because their interests are different, but not by a whole lot, right? So you can rally, which has the purpose of just you know, augmenting friendly forces. You're just getting more stuff on the board. Um, different from most games I've ever played before in this game, when you're doing this as your main operation and not a so-called limited operation, you can do it in as many departments or cities as you want, as long as you can pay for it, right? So you can do any department or city 
where you have where you can pay at least one resource you may place one gorilla or replace two with a base or if you have a base you can place gorillas up to population plus bases so again if you have bases you can get more people out much faster which potentially is important for FARC and maybe less so for AUC and cartels, maybe. So that's what Rally does. March, self-explanatory, right? Move gorillas. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, and there's and then there's actions. We'll, we'll, I'm not going to go over every every single procedure because we can do that while we're playing. Attack. It is free Sorry, to move into lines of communication. Is that? Yeah. I mean, that's an interesting distinction okay so like right. th those are considered kind of it's easy a, come easy go it seems by a lot exactly. of the rules exactly it's a, i think this is to entice people to do it right? it's almost like an incentive to be like oh wait i can just move into a line of communication for free like it doesn't even cost me a resource right but but again you'll we'll, we'll see if y'all do that because i i haven't seen it happen yet if you're like oh and he's gonna get someone also, we're playing the quick start scenario, right? So we'll get to the first propaganda card. I'll get 30 resources. You all will be like, oh no. And then we already know that the next propaganda card is the end of the game, right? So I think the quick start scenario, more than maybe the full game, is not going to heavily incentivize you all to do it. Like if you wanted to do it, I think you'd have to do it before the first propaganda card. And you're right. learning the game. So... You know, take that with a grain of salt. I, I don't know how much. I, watch all of you. <laughs> the first thing you all do is like glom onto my lines of communication. I'll be like, ah. Right. <laughs> it, it right now. I mean, we'll see how it plays out. But but at at first glance, given the short scale, the short scope of the the quick start scenario, it feels a little small ball, right? It's, like I, it doesn't. It's not gonna. Well, again, you'll, so you'll see here, right? Cost one resource. Cost one resource cost one resource cost one resource and now i'm going to go over to the government and you'll see cost three resources three 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 right right so anything the government does they can also obviously do in any as many spaces as they can pay for and have the prerequisites for because there sometimes there are preconditions right here it says any spaces and here it says any spaces with gorilla and enemy right, right. well which makes sense because you're you're attacking you're guess, attacking right Oh, here, any spaces with underground gorillas. So you can't do terror unless you have a non-flipped gorilla. And then right. the terror action actually flips the gorilla, right? So attack, again, pretty self-explanatory. Terror is the important one. So terror differs between cartels and AUC. So their terror action is pretty similar. They activate a gorilla and then they shift favor in that department or city one step towards neutral right so it doesn't matter whether it's opposition or support for the government they'll move it towards zero because they don't want either the FARC or the or the government to win right makes makes a ton of sense so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to terrorize a place that's already at neutral unless you want to add more terror markers and the terror markers just make it harder for the government to do what's called a civic action which as you can guess, I will explain <laughs> at some point. Um, so that's what Terra does. Same for AUC. Unsurprisingly for the FARC, Terra moves it one step towards active opposition. So if it's neutral, you'll pull it to passive opposition. And if it's passive opposition, you'll pull it to active opposition. So for the FARC, it only, quote unquote, makes no sense if you're already at active opposition because you can't really change it anymore other than, again, adding an additional Terra marker. Um, but rally, march, attack, and terror, pretty much the same for all the insurgents. Uh, special activity is different. First of all, you can't do every special activity with any main activity, right? So up here you see, like, if you do rally or march, you can only extort. If you do attack, you can extort or ambush. And if you do terror, you can extort or kidnap, right? So it'll tell you which of the special activities you can do. Um, and then the special activities you'll see stuff like max one space, max three spaces. They're like a little additional thing. Extort gives you a lot of money. Ambush allows you to attack someone with a guaranteed win. Because normally when you attack as an insurgent faction, you have to roll a die. And only if your die roll is the number of gorillas you have in that department or city or lower. So if you only have one gorilla there, it's a one in six that your attack will even succeed. 
right? So you probably need more for it. And then if it succeeds, you remove two enemy pieces. Now with one exception that is the cartels, uh, you always have to remove gorillas before you remove bases. So you can't just like remove a base first, right? The cartels have a way of doing this with bribing that is pretty powerful, I'm gonna say. And by pretty powerful, I mean OP. It's <laughs> straight up, straight up OP, I think. Um, kidnap is a way, right, to say, uh, it's again, it's a company map Terra, up to three cartels bases where Terra operation and FARC guerrillas exceed police. So there's a huge precondition for this. And then in each area, you can transfer a shipment or a die roll to the resources, right? So you can get a shipment from someone or just get money from the government by rolling a die. So that's that's what you do. You're basically, you know, you're getting a ransom from the government. Um, this bottom right box is the same for all factions. It just reminds each faction what the victory conditions for all the other players are. Um, and then last but not least, I'll go over the government. Right, the government's now, these are different, right? The government has train, which is how they get more stuff on the board. They have patrol, which is how they protect lines of communication in cities, right? So it says move any cubes into or along adjacent lines of communication or cities. In each location, activate a gorilla for each cube there, then if desired, conduct a free assault. So it's a way to patrol the lines of communications in cities. The sweep operation is how you it's not the same as patrol. It's actually, it seems, I think it's slightly more powerful. Um, this is how you move into cities or departments. But when you do it, you again, activate one gorilla for each cube there, unless it's in the forest and then you activate one for every two cubes. But this is how you basically expose gorillas as the government so that you can like sweep on one turn and the next turn you assault, right? And assault is, yeah attack basically but in each space remove one active gorilla or base for each troops cube and again base is last right and you don't have to roll so the government doesn't have to roll they just get to remove stuff uh and then as there yeah go ahead the thing that confused me reading the rules is what is the distinction between patrol and sweep because they have similar effects they have similar seems. effects so patrol only applies to lines of communication or cities Mm. Um, so you can't do it and, it and also it only activates one right oh sorry it activates one for each cube there it does, then if desired conduct a free assault it's i think i really think the only difference as far as i can tell and to be clear i've never i've never once seen it used <laughs> but i think the difference because you need it if you're start if people are starting to like sit and try to rob you of resources on your lines of communication right, right? I think it's mostly for that. And so basically you have a home turf advantage on your movement uh, if you're not in the departments. Y yes, yes, okay. that's, that's what I would say. Is there any uh, distinction on the move any troops clause of sweep versus move any cubes? There is, oh yeah. So patrol is both police and troops and sweep is only troops, right? So you cannot sweep with the police, mm -hmm. right? Now, before I get to the special activities, here comes the big one. So in train, it says at each selected city or government base department, so a department with a government base, place up to six cubes. Then in up to one selected space, replace three cubes with a government base. Or, this is the big one, if you have troops, police, and control, you can buy a civic action. And a civic action means pay three resources to move the public opinion one step in your direction. So coin, you know, the counterinsurgents don't terrorize. They show a, a show that they have stability through, <laughs> this is amazing that I'm saying this out loud. <laughs> they show they have stability through police and military. And in doing so, they can sway the public opinion in their favor. But it's important to note that they can only do that if there are no terror markers. If there are terror markers, then they pay three resources to remove one terror marker. And terror markers can stack. They do get removed on the propaganda round. So there's a reset part of the propaganda round. So it's not, don't just say, think it's gonna be like, ah, this place is locked down forever. There's a huge reset on the propaganda round, um, which, you know, Pax Premier, <laughs> all the, everything comes back, instability, right? So that's kind of like that. Um, the next thing, and this is where we're gonna 
you know, and then they have special activities. Airlift allows them to move three troops. Airstrike allows them to remove uh, an active guerrilla or a base in one uh, department. And eradicate gets you eight plus four, remove all cartel bases, right? So this is a way to just straight up this. So because the cartels are so powerful in getting bases out, the government has a special activity that allows them to directly target cartel bases, right? Now, before I get to uh, the propaganda round, after which we will be able to start the game, and then I think it's a 45 minute teach, so not that bad. Um, I would like to say one more thing. And now, of course, just, just as, I, as I say these words, I was like, oh yeah. So, you know what? No, I'm gonna get to the propaganda. I think, I think this is of less importance. So let's just say, let's just say it's important because this procedure, this, this civic action, when you train, you can do it once, right? So as part of your training, you can also do, you can buy a civic action. Now, when the propaganda card pops up, the, here the or, here's the order, and the order is also printed on the board right here under sequence of play. So in the physical version, there's a little prop card token, and you just move it along these spots so that you know which part of the propaganda stage you're in. Um, but it's printed on the player aids, which I would highly recommend all of you have open for yourself at any time. Um, first thing that gets checked is if anyone meets their victory condition. If they do, game's over. If multiple went meet their victory condition, there's a simple, it's integers, like how far away from the victory or how, how good did you do past the victory condition? Whoever did better wins the game. Um, then comes sabotage. You place one sabotage on each a line of communication adjacent to FARC controlled cities uh, or where guerrillas exceed cubes, which is, a, which is just a, a token you put there for a later stage in the propaganda card because all the way at reset, they all get removed. Um, now come the resources. So you'll see for the government, you get 30 minus the, ec the economy number, which is the number printed on the pipeline of sabotage lines of communication plus aid, right? It says no aid of Samper. That means if Samper is the president, then there's no aid. Uh, this is a little thing that's unique to Andean Abyss. We start with Pastrana as the president, which means there's a FARC zone. The FARC zone in this game is in Meta West. And all that means is the government cannot march in there at all, right? So they have, they're not allowed in there unless the FARC zone is gone. And it happens pretty fast in this game. There are probably event cards that allow you to move the token back, but I haven't seen them yet. Uh, probably they're somewhere in this sheet of cards, but I also haven't looked at all these cards. Um, is there only ever one FARC zone or can there be more than there's one There's only FARC one zone? FARC zone. There's only okay. one FARC zone. Um, and, and to clarify on the resources, I assume that that's, those expire at the end of the turn. You don't roll over, right? Like get, you use it or lose it, I assume. Use it or lose it. Uh, they go to your, so they go here, they go here to this, to this thing on the, on the outer rim. So no, they, okay. you keep the resources. They're going to be your resources for the rest, for the, for the remainder of the game. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. I guess, okay. I, I guess I was thinking of like using, okay, well, we'll get to it in play. I was yeah, thinking yeah. of that. You had to spend resources to do, um, to, to accomplish the different actions. You, you, you do. Play. And we'll get to that in a second, but you don't have to. Right, okay. because one thing that, the, that I've noticed the government can do horribly wrong is to spend down all their resources during the propaganda phase and then be absolutely hamstrung during the game. I see. Right, because they okay. need the money to do. The, and again, each of their actions costs three. Right. Okay. And it's a big mistake, I think, in these games to think. So I have heard that, relatively speaking, the Andy and Abyss event cards are spicy and are pretty powerful. But right. but. It's not always the best choice, and you and I think that will make much more sense when we get to the dynamics of the game. Okay. Um, Fark and AUC get the number of their bases. Cartels get three times the number of their bases, um, which is a, which can be a lot, right? Money. Um, and then these shipments, right? They count so these little discs that are under the gorillas, they can count as six resources per shipment when you remove them, or you can replace them and just put out a base, right? So again up to stacking limits, right? Always remember, you can only have two bases in a department or in a city. So after we do the resources, we get to support. Now the government in spaces with, and these are the same three things that happen for the training action, 
where you have control, troops, and police. Doesn't need to be a base, but you need to have control, troops, and police. Every three resources spent by the government removes one terror, or once no more terror, shifts one level toward active support. And in the propaganda stage, you can do that as many times as you want. But you do need to have control and troops and police. But it basically means if you have like 80 or 60 or 80 resources lying around, any place that has control, has that state-based effect of control, police, and troops, the government's probably going to spend money to get all the way to active support, probably, right? Um, because you can do it as many times as you want. Now, the same thing goes for the FARC, right? In spaces with FARC control, um, every one resource spent by the FARC removes one terror, or once no more terror shifts one level toward active opposition. So they can also do that in the areas where they have control. So this is why control matters, for, for obviously for the government and the FARC. Then, this has nothing to do with any faction, if total support uh, for the government, to be clear, right, is 60 or less, which it might not be because you may have gotten more support in the meantime through civic actions, but if it's 60 or less, you advance El Presidente. So if that were to happen, say I only had 55, then the Presidente would become a Ribe and, and we would immediately remove all FARC zones. Right, so then this would become a fair game again. Um, in Cuba Libre, these presidents basically change the amount of resources it costs for the government to take actions. And I think it starts with two and goes to three and can go all the way up to four, which is kind of nuts, um, but also amazing uh, narratively. Um, and then elite backing, AUC may rep free rally in one space with no opposition, nor government control, nor FARC control, right? So you can kind of like put out a dude somewhere. Now comes the one that is a government thing that is boring and I'll tell you about later. But the bottom line here is, as the government, you have to move troops that are in lines of communication departments without bases to government controlled spaces that are cities or have bases. So they can't just, the troops can't just hang out, right? They don't get to just stay in a, in a department. They get to read, they have to redeploy. They have to come back home unless there's a base there. And then they can very powerfully move troops to these, to these controlled spaces and police to any other spaces that are government controlled, right? So that, that means, and, and adjacency means nothing for that step, right? So it's a way to like entirely reconfigure the board. Then we do reset, all factions become eligible, discard insurgent momentum. That's a state-based effect that can happen on cards. We'll talk about when it happens. Remove all terror and sabotage, all guerrillas go underground, and then play next card or determine victory. So that's that's what a seemingly complex but not not that complicated when we actually play it propaganda round looks like. Um, I know it. So so I don't know what you all feel like right now, but because I know it, I know it's a lot to take in. But and it looks like what the hell is going on on this pizza, this weird indigestible pizza board. But it's it gets pretty easy pretty fast, I think. Um, and also, we're not going to be playing. To be clear, anyone who's watching this right now, this is not what this is not the uh, the channel you watch to learn optimal play. <laughs> it's a channel whether you watch to see goofballs goof off. Um, There's one part. Uh, oops, am I muted? No, you're, no, we can hear you. Okay, sorry, my Discord mic's not lining up. I think there's one thing worth pointing out, just because since we're also used to playing packs and it's not present there. Um, if you look at the top bar, you want to scroll up a little bit, Andy. I'm oh, sorry, no, it's there. The the handshake. The handshake. handshake. Yeah. So in this game, unlike PAX, uh, in the very very top, like the menu bar, over by like the gear and the planet and the. I I don't see it right. I don't oh, see it. okay. So I don't see it because it's not my turn. Because it's your turn. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what what we will see is there will be a handshake uh, icon up there. And in this game, unlike PAX, there actually is uh, not unstructured negotiation, but there is, you can ask other players for resources and shipments. Right. Uh, and like as the cartel, this is actually like probably an important mechanic for me, which is why I want to raise it because right. really no one has any interests, any shared incentives with me, uh, except that I can give you money because, well, we make uh, $189 million a day or right. a week or something. Right. Like right. So, uh, you know, I guess like my role in the game, uh, the way I sort of self-preserve is to boost other 
right. factions where you need resources. Right. So, so those uh, are don't forget only, about the environments there. Those are the only two things, right? You can, the only things you can transfer are resources and shipments, right? Nothing else. Yeah. Right. Like you, you can't yeah. flip, you can't give other people your gorillas and stuff like that. Um, but you, yeah. you can also, it's, it's a minor point, but um, because you can actually, it's pretty easy to go through all of your pieces in this game you might actually want to voluntarily remove them at certain points there that's also where the option to voluntarily remove pieces will be is under that handshake menu okay mm -hmm. oh yeah and once all your pieces are out from your from your um from your stash um you you can when you train or do something like that or, or whatever or rally you can just move them or from it's basically a way to teleport them right you can move them from somewhere else to the new place because that's all you have right and yes because of the way rally works and how you can do it everywhere, it, it's going to be, you know, <laughs> you'll get those, you get, you'll get your, your pieces on the board pretty fast. Uh, oh, and the other thing is the, this is what I wanted to say earlier. Um, when you, if you do the for the op with the special activity, you can do those interleaved. You do not have to do the op first and then the special activity. You can do them in between. Um, and that the, the UI for that in Rally the Troops is a mildly confusing and can lead to you ending your turn prematurely, which you cannot undo. Mm -hmm. So just be careful when it says end something. Be aware whether there's another button there or if you're not sure, undo and see if there was a thing you could do before that. Um, it will automatically, if you pick your operation, it will automatically put your token on the no special activity space until you do a special activity, and then it will shift it down to the one with special activity. What a limited oh. op is, is you get to do an operation, but limited op means you can only do it in one space. You can't do it in as many spaces as you can pay for. That's the difference between the faction op and the limb op. Um, There's also the option to like sell a shipment, right? Yeah, there is. So this is a thing that is unique. Well, unique. It's anyone who owns a shipment. Normally, it's the cartels, but of course, you may have had a little run in with them. Um, you can sell a shipment to take an additional limited op, right? Um, that's another thing you can do with the shipments. But this is like now. Now we're getting to a level of specific specificity that I think we can like. I, I feel like I can brush over a few like smaller issues that we'll just get to. <laughs> As part we can of tease it after play, right? So it's okay. Let's let's just shoot. Let's just shoot. Shoot. To, let's shoot for the moon. <laughs> let's see, right? So now <laughs> it is it is the cartel's turn because they are first eligible faction, and now it's up to. Uh... Oh yeah, and the and the other thing is you can do option and activity, option and no activity, event or pass. Why would you ever pass? Well, let's just say, let's say you don't like this card but you're also first eligible on the next card and you really like that card. This is why the look ahead is amazing. If you pass, you get a resource or three if you're the government and you stay eligible for the next card and then you just look at the order of the next card to see if that makes sense for you. Right, or, or say, say uh, Brian does the, does the, um, the event and Steve's like, eh, I don't want to do an operation. I want to do the event because this is cool. I'm going to pass, right? So passing is can be very powerful. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes you don't have a other choice other than do the limb op. But sometimes passing is really strong, which is another reason why this whole sequence of play with the event cards is chef's kiss. I love it. It's fantastic. Um, but yeah, Brian, you're up. All right. So yeah, I guess to that point. Uh, I'm just going to kind of go through, uh, the, start with the second card, which pretty much has nothing to do with me. So I know I'm not interested in passing. Uh, so looking at the first card, um, I definitely don't, so just for Tinko Maria, I definitely don't want someone else to play that card, uh, because, um, I've got, you know, three bases in forest would be 75% of my bases. So exactly. I, I either need to play this event or take a choose a operation such that I can't do op plus special activity basically because that would leave it up to sorry who's Fark again oh so Steve Fark. Steve oh you one hundred percent well keeping well Steve might not do it this is why this game oh, is yeah. right well he might not yeah. do it because if he does it 
Well, it's really no interest for him to do it. Honestly, it's doesn't advance his position at all. Doesn't really advance um, his position, right? So he might. So I'm just trying. To, yeah, I'm trying to just trying to think like, okay, so if I play the event, I'll get two bases. And I actually don't know if I want to be. I think I don't want to be concentrated. But I, I think also, you actually get zero bases. I don't think there's anywhere where you can place a base within those restrictions. I think Putumayo Kaketa. I think. Oh, oh no, no, you I, can't because there's already um, two. No, you get zero bases. <laughs> no, you're right. Oh, so it's not yeah. limiting for all the uh, discs. No. Okay, John's, well, John's then, right. Just... You get zero bases. All right, so I guess I'm just going to do uh, an operation. Right. So let's see here. So, so what you can't see now, actually, I'm going to stop sharing the Discord video stream because we don't need you don't need to see that anymore now. Um, so we can't see this right now, but like when it's your turn, all these action buttons for your uh, menu of operations pop up here in the upper right corner as as buttons, um, which will become. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to be my turn anytime soon. But when it becomes my turn. Yeah. I think I'll just start, keep it simple with a rally here. Um, and I, yeah, I think I can just kind of spray these guys everywhere. You can pretty much spray them everywhere because I don't think you have any limitation, right? There's no precondition for for your rally. Depart so, says lo departments or cities, right? Now keep in mind, for you to get bases out, you basically need to replace two with a base as part of the rally action. There are other ways for you to get bases out, right? Um, like you can cultivate to get bases out, but you're not doing your special activity. Um, right now, you don't have a place with two. Well, actually, that's not true. You have four, four gorillas in Medellin, right? So you could straight up, as part of rally, trade in two of those to make a second base in Medellin. Right. Yeah, I'm actually trying to figure out like, what? and a lot, a, lot of, a lot of your bases are very unprotected. <laughs> right? If anyone attacks you and there are no gorillas there, they just remove the bases. Yeah, I don't know how important that is, but it's probably not not important. Is my guess, but I also wouldn't overthink it. Because it's gonna be there's there's so much chaos in this game with respect to the uncertainty of human activity, <laughs> right? Right. That's what's. I'm gonna, actually trying. To yeah. Figure. I'm just trying to figure out how to actually place the gorillas. Uh, I think you need to just click on the departments. Uh, so first of all, you need to. So you chose rally, right? Yeah. Should it is it highlighting departments and cities now for you? It is. It is, but then when I click on one, say like. Uh, then you still have to click on the cartel gorillas in your in the resource box, right? That is that is above uh, there, right. Uh, so it doesn't fill. Oh, I see. Okay. I got like it. Text in there, gotcha. Right? Yeah, because it doesn't know yet whether you mean well. I mean, it could infer that you don't mean. Because uh, where you have bases, you can add more, right? So normally it's one, yeah. or it's number of bases plus population. So in Meta East, you could add two. Yeah. Right. All right. So let's. Okay. Right. So now we now we're seeing them come in. Um, so if I hit next here, what's going to happen? Uh, that would mean you're done, I think. Not sure. Can I do it again? You should be able to do it as many times as you want. Right. Yeah. So keep in mind again, you can interleave anything. So if you run out of gorillas in your in your box, you can trade in two from Medellin for a base, and then still yeah. and then still keep distributing those two. Yeah, there's a lot of a vibe of like just you can just you can do like a lot on a turn in coin. It's well, way less I mean, sparse you, feeling. I mean, you did tax. start at twenty resources, and now you're at sixteen, right? Because you just did a bunch of stuff, right? Um, yeah. Okay, so I put out, I think, like... I'm just going to still say uh, to you, I recommend that you make a base in Medellin. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. I'm trying to actually just figure out how to actuate that. I think there's, I a, guess base, I think there's a base button at the top. I have 
or, to, well, hold on. or you click, click on the or you click on Medellin and okay. then there's a base button at the top that says yeah and now you yeah. click on exactly right slightly yeah it's it did, you know it's like like every RT like every rally the troops thing it's like it yeah. made, it's a compromise usually and they once you learn the compromise it's fine um, okay so I guess I put out seven gorillas and then switch to a base and uh, yeah. Medellin you still have two in your box if you really wanted to like oh well, i did that yeah I, well my turn's over sleep but i kind of forgot that like once i convert him to base to go back to troops and then i could keep pumping him out yeah, so yeah, i got exactly. it okay operation got it okay mind. right so you passed on so now it's spark um okay yeah. so now you so okay steve you can now either do just one operation right. or you pass right it's a limited op two which i think generally means the operation can only be done in one space one space uh, for, right, right. Now you're going to be first eligible on the next card. Right? Yes. Which, what is it? FARC or AUC in a space executes two free ambushes with any of its guerrillas without activating. Right. So that means they could stay underground, but yeah, get they, the benefits of the ambush. Get the benefits, of, and the benefits of the ambush are you're not rolling anything. Right. Right. Um, so okay. it's pretty powerful. Uh, what's the opposite? Army sniffs out FARC trap. Government in one space activates all FARC and executes free assault. <laughs> yeah, you probably don't want that. Well, actually, there's not a whole lot of government and FARC overlap right now. Right. Um, no, I would I would be doing... I mean, just in terms of the line of play, I don't see much for me in terms of King of Maria. I, I did like... It's a question of do I... The, the options that I have are Rally, March, Attack, Terror, or Pass. Yeah. So um, Terror and, is and, not bad, right? Terror is not bad, right. but you can only do it in one spot. Right, right because, of, because of the sequence, since I'm now, the second faction. And, yeah, the thing uh, I'll tell you right do. now is the only place that you even, that where you have a gorilla underground, where it even makes sense to do Terror, is in Santander Boyaca. Because everywhere else you have gorillas, it's already at full active opposition. Yes. Right. And also, right. you'll notice these non-populous areas. You can put stuff in there, but you're not getting government. You're not getting population support there. Right. Right. So it's only here where you could move it from active support to passive support by doing a terror action, and that would just be in one space. Right. Or right. you pass, and then you get to do uh, two free ambushes without activating. Okay. And then one one bit on the sequence of play port, uh, portion of the board, the underpass, it says plus one resource, plus three if government remain eligible. Yep. So it, what I get, my read on that is I get an additional resource for passing as well. Yeah, you'd right? go to, you're at 10 right now and you'd go to 11. Okay. I am. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not seeing, I mean, the terror option is, is potentially something, but I, I, and I guess trying to look forward, where would I potentially be ambushing if I sort of fast forwarded to kill? Well, someone? it could be in it could be in Santander Boyaca. It could be in Meta West if you're worried about the cartel. Um, right. I mean, it could. You know, there's a lot of different places this, you could do it. This to me seems like a situation where it's almost strictly better to pass because you get the same you get a resource right. and the same options. Right. Except right. if you're not going to take the event, then it does go to the AUK. Um, which, you know, could hurt you. So only pass if you're, you know, actually the event, they would have, uh, John would have access to that event immediately anyway, if you do act. Yeah. So yes, it's, it seems strictly better to pass. So you see I how think. this is, yeah. Cause it, it, this is why, and again, I think this is one of the big reasons why this is, why this little beautiful event cards plus sequence of play system is just so nice. Cause you're yeah. like, Hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's definitely, I, I agree. I think it is strictly better to pass for you because at the worst, I mean, you're, you're going to be able to do a full op next turn. And you could even do the full op without the special activity and thus limit the AUC's ability to do the event, right? If you were yeah. worried that the event might trigger. So it gives you a lot more control. I think you just need to pass. Yeah. Right. Okay. Which so now, we'll... Yeah. And that moves to John as the yep. Auk now for eligible faction. Yep. It does. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't love that because I I was eyeballing that kill zone. That felt like that gave me uh, some interesting options, but that's fine. So 
My available. I mean, you might want uh, to pass. You, you might <laughs> want to pass as well. Because well, wait, can I even do Tingo Maria? Because the cartel you went can't. into that first box, so I can only no, do a limited you, operation. Exactly, you cannot do it. So I think yeah. for you, here's what I think. I think when if you pass, you know that next turn. Well, it could happen that Steve only does the first faction op with with no special activity, which would put you in the same position you're in right now, right? Or, yeah, think... or he does the event or does the full operation, which in which case you get to do either the event or a full operation with special activity. Right. Right. So again, I wouldn't go as far as to say strictly better to pass, but I think your chances of getting something better are higher than just doing the limb up. Yeah, I think the, the limb up uh, when I'm second in the next card and it's yeah. a decent card is it, it, that is not a um, compelling yeah. consolation prize by Block and, Pass. And you're actively yeah, putting the onus on Steve to like now Steve has to like has now Steve has a whole other important choice to make. <laughs> right. <laughs> and now you sure? have a pretty crappy turn. This is right, a crappy Andy, turn too. for me, but it's fine. The, 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 these permutations here on the cards balance out perfectly, right? So, you know, there's 24 different permutations of four event, four elements. Is that true? Yeah, I don't think I'm doing the math right, right? Four times three That's times right. two, yeah. Does it balance out perfectly when we're playing with a small deck, though? Good question. <laughs> probably, <laughs> not, probably not, because it's random, right? It's not like you pick the cards for the, you're right, it may not, but it's a, whatever, I don't care, it's fine. I have to take the limb up here, right? Because why would I pass, right? I'm not going to be up at any point. So what do I do as the frickin' limb op? I think, so now I'm gonna look at my, my menu here. I think I just train. I think I just train. The problem though is that I only get to train in one spot. Um, so there's already a base here. It's already at active support. That's not great. Um, yeah, I don't even get to, ugh, this is so gross. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just gonna drop. I'm gonna drop a bunch of, bunch of cubes in here. Cause why not? And that's it, right? No civic action. Base. Like oh, I guess I could get no. See, that's the thing. So, I could build a base in a city. It makes no sense to do that if just for future reference if any of you ever play the government the only reason you would build a base in the city is to block a space for someone else to build a base there because cities right. are bases right you already get to deploy there so hmm. it makes zero sense so i'm just going to end train and that was an amazing event for me okay so now kill zone has become the active card yep and we see what the next card is and the thing i'm going to explain to you about the next card is Every time you see this blue government capabilities, this means, and this is amazing in, in Andean Assault, it's different in Cuba Libre. Either of these actions on the card will put a token in government capabilities that is either a buff or a nerf. And it stays there for the rest of the game. Wow. Right? So the pro version is Assault costs one resource per space. And the contra version is Assault operations may target only one space per card. So it's, uh, these are such insane swings, <laughs> right? So, and I'm gonna be, and I'm gonna be, no one's gonna get that for me. I'm gonna be first eligible and you better bet <laughs> that I'm gonna do the top one. <laughs> I'm just hoping for a misclick personally, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I'm 100% gonna do the top one. Yeah, I, I wonder, I mean, since you're first in sequence for the Tapias, w what scenario would you not be doing the buff there? I guess if the if the card proceeding was so beneficial to you that yeah. you had to weigh the capabilities well, I would definitely, I would definitely not. I would definitely not pass, because that would be painful for me. Uh, yes. I might, again, the only thing I would ever do, which is basically what, uh, what Brian just did, is I might think that just doing the faction op with no special activity is fine, right? If I don't believe that the buff is is good, right? Yeah, I think the buff is great. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. It yeah, makes it me very it makes me hyper aggressive, right? Yeah. 
which the government is can be, but doesn't have to be. Um, it's good anyway, to have the option. Yeah, it's good it to have the option. It keeps that line of play open. Right. Yeah. So FARC, you're okay. up, right? You're, you're, yeah, I, I'm up. Yeah, and I've got both. Um, so both of those, claw the, the different options are highlighted on the kill zone card. I think, like we talked about earlier, um, the, the pass was basically to set up the tactics. Right. Um, and, and now you said this could be interleaved, right? So I could potentially do any of those options plus come back to the kill zone later, or is that... No, no, no. You either... If you do the event, you do the event. That's it. Got it. Okay. You can't do anything else. Like, you're doing the event, okay. that's it. Like, if you pick the event, you can't also do any operations. Right. Understood. Okay. It's either or. All right. Right. So, okay. So looking looking at this again, so the, the ambush action um, attacks. So the attack activates one underground gorilla only and automatically succeeds. Place a fart gorilla. So it basically, it, it, it propagates. I, I get more gorillas in a particular space. But only in one space. Right. But only in but only in right. one space. Yeah. And, it, I have to choose and, it, location. and it only pairs with attack, right? So you'd be attacking right. and ambushing. Every other place you attack that's not the ambush, you would have to do the die roll, right? Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you right away. I mean, it's great in Meta West because you have six, and it's yes. pretty good in in I can't remember in Huila Tolima because you have four. But anywhere you have one or two, it's such a drag. <laughs> Like a one in three or a one in six is just. You, you've played. You, we've played Nevsky long enough we've now <laughs> to know that that's such a pain. Yeah. Right. Um, so okay. I don't know that. I mean, I would all. I mean, if, I don't know. If I were you, I'd, I'd maybe go with the card. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like I sort of passed specifically to take the card. So, like, in a way, I already sort of predetermined where i want right. to go it's just a question of where so i'll go ahead and do the, the tactics i'll take that that right. clause so so then i need to so now it says select faction so you're going to so select fark probably yeah <laughs> and now it's going to yeah. ask you probably for like two spaces oh sorry in yeah. a space a space yeah, two, free, two... Two, two free ambushes in one space yeah Correct. so you get to remove so... you get to remove four pieces in one space right Whew. So obviously you need to find a place where that makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah. And so now you need to figure out whether you, how much you hate the government versus how much you hate the cartels. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and this is like, I mean, the government and FARC, we talked about like, it's sort of, they're in direct opposition in terms of wind conditions kind of surrounding yeah. the, the opposition and support. So, yep. I mean, I'm already sort of geared up towards, um, attacking the government i was just like um, don't beat around the bush i know what's i know exactly what's happening next <laughs> <laughs> we we all I, 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 I unfortunately i don't have zach gage's beautiful eyes and i can't just do the whole like don't no i'm so cute now, don't there's no here <laughs> don't no no oh, right. man. i know i know how many here have watched uh last wish right but they're like the dog constantly is like close to a hernia from trying from trying to look cute and i'm the dog right i'm not puss in boots um so i know you're gonna remove my base and my three troops in freaking santander boyaca i get yeah. it yeah. yeah i think you should remove all this green crap down here in coqueta but i get it the, cart the cartel could be helpful later right i don't sure i mean no you I, do what you need to do <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is so painful to watch yeah just right right off the bat okay so you'll notice you more the people the Thomas region of Santana yeah. Boyata so now you got your fart control there but I still have active support times too right because again the only yes. way you can move that in your direction is with terror um, but, well, right. you, but you set yourself up amazingly well for terrorizing me there Right, um, and I do like I do like how they're still like they're modeling the in, the insurgency and counterinsurgency. Like a lot right. of games, like it is about winning the hearts and minds, right? It is like about I think, it. For, well, I mean, for us, for us, for Fark and for for us, for us yes. it is. It is not at all. The AUC does not care at all. The AUC cares right. them better than you because they hate yeah, the, like the right hate the left. Shocking. Um, yes, and the and the cartels are like we don't care about we all we care about is money. Like get out right. of here. 
right? Yeah, they don't, as long as if they can keep us at parity, that makes it easier for them to make money. Yep. And and the AI, and the AUC is just totally reactionary. Like yep, they they yep, don't yep. There, there's no there's no ideology to advance there. They just care about flattening the left, which again is is it's great theming. On point. On point. On point. Yep, totally great. So <laughs> but my victory condition is literally to own the libs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> uh, turns out you can't do that. Um, turns yeah. out you can't do that if you have a shitty Twitter. If you have shitty Twitter servers. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is no. This is good. I like like there's there. You don't see a lot of war games in the space modeling. Like I, I mean, I like from a computer war game perspective. There's like Vietnam '65 and Afghanistan '11. Right. That's sort of they have that hearts and minds like mechanized there. Right. Um, and, By the way, can you pass? Is, you, I think you have to. Yes. You have to yeah, say sorry. you're done. So that yeah, I, I, so I've ended event, so now yeah. it's it's okay. it's all. I just want to move right. it along so that while we yeah we got because we, we're gonna we do our, we're definitely gonna theory craft throughout the entire play because we're the teach was we're done with the teach now right everyone yeah. fully understands how to play this game we're experts um and now we're gonna <laughs> and now we're gonna immediately go launch from absolute beginners into high level theory crafters um that's so what, that's what we do there's no space in between. <laughs> because of, because I'm a high level theory crafter, I'm going to talk through my plan here so to make sure I don't click on anything wrong or misunderstand the rules. Um, you have to monologue your evil plan. Here we go. So I'm very uh, sorry, Fark, but now now that you've handily disposed of some of those uh, government stooges for me, I want to lay an all out assault on your bases because they're they're in the way of me showing how much better than you I am. Sounds good. Um, so I believe I have the ability to do this via terrorizing. Three spaces. I can terrorize Aroka Kasanare. I'm going to say these all terribly. Yeah. Um, Putamayoka Keta and I believe Hula Huila. Huila Tolina. This sort of southern city area. Oh, and yeah. you can also terrorize Guaviare, right? You also have a. I. Right? You can, right? Yeah, and actually, no, that was the one I wanted, not Putamayoka Keta. Because uh, I want to terrorize the three places that are bases, because I believe I can then assassinate. Which has up to three spaces selected for terror where I exceed police. Uh, there ain't police in any of these places. Um, and assassinate should just let me straight up wow. remove I bases, I think. That is, no, 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 you're right. I didn't know that the assassinate action is as strong as bribe. Right? Wow. Yeah, it says each space remove any one enemy piece. Mm. So you don't have to, so you don't have to like remove Yeah, wow. That's Seems strong. Bad. That's strong. So yeah. I'm gonna. So you're gonna hit. You're gonna terrorized. use terrorize, right? Um, right. So now everywhere you do that, you'll see that there the terror marker pops up, and now that right. that passive or I think there was no passive support here, right? So the only thing that, uh, well, whatever. I'm just. It was already at neutral, but that doesn't matter. So now we're gonna for the first time see this light red token, right? Mm. So now everywhere where there was active opposition. Now there's passive opposition. So you could, I'm just telling you, you could also add Pudumayo Kaketa if you wanted to remove, like reduce uh, Steve's current victory points from 19 to 18. That's for you to decide whether that you think that's worth a resource. You only have three resources left. Yeah, I'm pretty um, poor. Yeah, so eh, probably not worth it. Um, and my assassinate fortunately does not cost anything. It's just a freebie. You do a little bit of terror, and you can, yeah. you can kill some some uh, that's the, that's high the level officials. That's the benefit of doing the special activity, right? It's just a, I think I think the only special activity that costs money is bribe, right? So the the cartels have to pay money to do what you're doing right now, but they also get to do it in up to three spaces. Whereas you only... Oh, wait. No, you also get to do it up the three spaces. Yep. I was going to say, he just did it. I just watched the bases fly off the board. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So now so, if we look down here, now the AUC is... You know, you can't... You have to have more off... The, you have to have more, right? But right now it's yep. two to three, so you just got much closer to your win condition. Yeah. Um, very well done. Very well done. Um Okay, so I'm going to click this button, which says sends, uh, says end terror. Yeah. If that, only it was so easy. <laughs> and, that, <laughs> and that should, I think that should end your turn. Ah, it says to... aid cut by minus five. Oh, you to you get the... to, so you get to move the eight. So now the aid marker on the top row, you get to click on that and move it down to four. Wow. Yeah. 
There we go. So it also, All right. yeah, assassinate also like basically means the U.S. is like less favorable of the government. So thanks. <laughs> um, okay, okay. I think we've already established that. What's the next? Okay, I'm not Sicario's unemployed. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I don't even have to read this card. I'll read it later. So obviously, I'm going to t click the top on Tapius, right? Right. Um, I have to, right? Salt costs. I have. I don't use salt that much, but like I think that might change my strategy, right? Remove one active gorilla. I just have to do a lot of sweeping, probably. But that then makes assault really cheap. Yeah, yeah, okay, come on. What am I, why am I even thinking? I'm gonna just hit this. So now you'll see that government capabilities, now there's a token in here, right? That right. if I hover over it, it reminds me in the upper right which card, uh, which card activated that ability. And that stays there for the entire game. Right, uh, it has it on the token there too, which is useful. So, so top, yes, yep. Then, uh, okay, cartels, you are up. Uh, so I have. What do you have? What is Sicarios? Um, unemployed, ready to work for syndicates. Place all available cartels, guerrillas into spaces with cartels bases. That's not that great for you. You you already have them all out. Yeah, I want to read the reverse of that. Replace all cartel guerrillas in two spaces with other guerrillas. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty tasty. So... I think I. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I think I. I pass. Yeah, maybe. Right, because you don't. I think want... I pass and take the faction off again. Yeah, because yeah. Because you don't want anyone to trigger that for you, right? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have to do that. All right, so I'll pass. Ooh, black. Okay. Blackhawks. Black oh my gosh. Well. Oh yeah, you're gonna I mean, be getting that card, again. So. I think I'm gonna get that right. Yeah. Wait, no. If so, oh, I'll, yeah, I'll get that. But I'm just not. Every time I every time I add more power, I just I'm pa I'm passing an entire turn, right? So it does come at quite the momentum cost. Right. right. Yeah. All right. I wanna. I need to take a look at to use uh to use a St Steve and my nerdo MTG terminology. I'll be playing a control deck. Uh, not a tempo deck. <laughs> yeah. Does that match up enough, Steve? I think it does, right? <laughs> I I think yeah, yeah. It, it's, a, I mean, it's a stretch. <laughs> if if we're reaching for a magic analog, I think that's the one I would pick. Um, Wait, yeah. John, you're a magic. You play magic, right? I've played magic. I get my uh, my my spikes and my all 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 those like um, magic people terms a little bit confused, but I know the game. Right. Oh, I always confuse those. Although I think the spike is the person who wants to win at all costs, right? If I'm not mistaken, right? In the psychographics. Yeah. Um, and the only reason I know the other one. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing a little rallying and cultivating, I think. But that sounds let's good. Figure out where. Rally. Well, careful. If you do cultivate, then you, then you are. Oh right, right. Yeah. right, right. Just uh, yeah. Warning: If you do cultivate, you are opening up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then, and you know, special. you know that John's gonna be. That I I, th I was going to say, like, I think John's going to be like, yeah, that event sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good to me to, like, replace all cartel gorillas in two spaces with mine. Yeah. I guess at the end of the day, because I only have two gorillas, doing the operation is tantamount to just taking the event anyway. Probably. Maybe. And I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm ready to like. Well, keep in mind, if you take the event, then you allow John more, more stuff. Sure. Right. That's yeah. the only. That's no, the only difference. That. Yeah. Exactly. So I guess first of all, I'm gonna, I want to experiment with putting these gorillas out in these zero pop. Why can I only do one there? Well, you can only do okay. one. The only so if you rally, you can only put out one. The only time you can put out more than one is if you have a base. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, as an experiment, let's just uh, yeah. let's try some, some, you know, oozing out into the deep forests a little well, bit. Also, if you want to do, if you want to replace two with a base later, you'd put two in one spot. Just as a, you know, I'm sure you know that. 
I get that, but I can't do it like in Amazonas, for example. I'd have to, you know. Oh right, right, right. Because you can't you can't activate the same department. Actually, let's let's actually do this. So rally, and then I'm gonna put them both in Putamayo. Interesting. Well, you're you're already right. you're already your stacking limit there. Right? You only have two bases yeah. there. That's, it's true. I keep on forgetting that. that you can't click on a department and you and activate it twice on a turn. That doesn't work. Let's do it in Guayaviari then. Okay. Yeah. All right. And rally. So, yeah. So All right. Now AUC, yeah. I'm gonna wow. say here. I'll be. I'll be. I'll be nice. You know that I'm gonna do the event. Right. So yeah. <laughs> if you pass, you'll get. A full op with special activity. Yeah, I think the the limited op is not compelling, especially because I am, as we've covered, quite poor. Right. Um, no, you, and so you passing want, and getting the the you resources. Definitely want to extort at some point, right? Because extort, I think, is your main way of getting getting money. Um, and it goes. Well, don't forget, you got, a, you got a very rich possible friend over here. So. You know, <laughs> right. Right. Keep us in mind. Well, you're you want not, some of those taco box in your right wing agenda? You're not that rich. You only have 15 resources right now. That's not mm. that's not um, bonkers. I'll be rich after propaganda. <laughs> I mean, you will be rich cool. eventually. After the first propaganda card, you'll probably be loaded because you're going to have two sh like two shipments out or more, four shipments plus your seven three times your bases, which right now already is 24. Right. So yeah, you're going right. to be you're probably going to be loaded after the prop card, right? Which, yeah, just right. for the record, we're getting close to the possibility of the first prop card popping up. Not right, we're, we're working our way we're there. We're working our way there. Right. So so turn comes around to me. I'm mm -hmm. under limited op. Um, you probably, you're, you're now in the situation I was in a couple of turns ago where it's like, you're also not going to get, I mean, you're not going to be, you're not going to be part of the next card. Right. Right. So you might want to consider doing the limited op. Yeah, and and looking at um, like attack as an option, particularly in um, Santander Boyaca, like thinking about pushback against Auk getting close on their win condition, right? Like that seems to be if I, if I'm thinking about reducing their shot at getting to a win con, that seems to be the place to do it. I've got three gorillas yeah. there. They have well, you could that's... also you could also deploy there. You could also rally there, which would allow you to put a base there, or you could just slap in a slap in one more gorilla. But probably you'd want to place two with a base. That's also a possibility, right? Right. Those both sound reasonable. The attack, keep in mind again, is going to be roll a die, and yes. if you, it's a, you're gonna, you're gonna you, whatever. I mean, who am I explaining this to? <laughs> I know you know. <laughs> I know you see what I'm going to say next. So it's not really for you. It's for anyone who watches this later. You're gonna do. You're gonna flip a coin. And on win, you're going to remove both yellow pieces, right? Right. Because you're going to roll a d6, and it has to be a three or less. Um, yep. Because three's the gorillas that are in place yep. in that. that exactly. Dome. exactly. Yep. Yep. So a coin flip to remove both seems pretty appealing right now, well, at least it... that or or basically a coin flip to remove both or a no op, or you definitely get a base, right? So if you wanted to be strictly, if you want to like count win condition. You will guaranteed get a base versus yeah. a coin flip to remove a base. True. But that's also true. you're exposing yourself to more attacks with only one gorilla there. So, you know, there that's your, that's where you are with that blim op, I think. Yeah, that's that's the trade in and, and I do worry about the the gorilla count in that that zone. So I, I and also we haven't rolled any dice yet. Um sure. it's time to roll some dice. Let, let's ahead. let's do this. Do so, it. Do it. <laughs> do it attack what could possibly go wrong it's dice right oh, there's a triple e <laughs> right so you're gonna right. it's stores oh god don't remind the game is that game is beautiful i bet it's amazing to play in person <laughs> but this man that's the most random game i've played in a while there's a Which lot is? of dice in that game chores of triple e oh yeah it's on rally yeah that's it's man it yeah. is cloud, so cloud of cloud of d6s yeah <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're, I don't think we're there yet with this one. So Okay, so I click that. It says Attack in, in Santander, and it says... So I guess my next prompt is Roll. That is um, so this is sort of... This is this is the confirmed to approach enemy lord yep. situation. I, is, exactly. And, and, so once you click Roll, there's no more undo. 
right and we'll all right see, we'll see it in the we'll see it in the um in the logs on the right yep so let's roll it and oh, two man. Enemy pieces. look Just, look woo! look at you look at you three needed a one to three you rolled a three right and i have to remove all the gorillas first before the base right bases are the last to be removed for exact, exactly so i removed the gorilla yeah. and then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and when you attack, you have to activate all gorillas, right? It's not just one. So, yeah, that's, yep. that already happened. Yep. Um, all right, so then we end attack, and it goes to government. Beautiful, beautiful boys. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so much to give. Airlift is, is a strong special activity that I have, and this makes it stronger, right? So normally I can move up to three troops from any one space to another, but with airlift, I can move any number of troops anywhere. So I think I need to do that, <laughs> especially alongside assault costing nothing. So let's just do that. U.S. Helo is delivered. Airlift moves any number of troops. Done. End event. <laughs> there you go, AUC. All right. Well, we have to to lick our wounds. Go post on some uh, inflammatory <laughs> message boards. See what we can <laughs> we can do here. Um, so I'm going to. Rally. I love. I, I love how much you fit. I mean, I kind of had the. I had the impression that you'd fit right in from the chat that we've had about packs. But it is amazing how well you fit in. <laughs> in terms of like making this entertaining. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. Uh, so I'm going to spend uh, two of my remaining resources. I think at least two. Oh, I can wait. Place up to one gorilla build base or move. Wait, what are you? Are you doing rally? Uh, yeah, in right. uh, Atlantico Magdalena. Um, well, again, keep in mind you can pair see. rally with extort. This is and the extort idea. Extort is yeah. amazing, right? So you can literally go all the way down to zero, and the best part is you can extort inter like in between. So if you needed to rally more, you could, you know, you'll get less money because you might not have uh, AUC everywhere to get the extortion. But you see how sequencing there is is relevant, right? Right. You taking the event afforded him the opportunity to to stack both the, right. the regular and the special. And I mean, yeah, extort yeah, yeah. is a thing that I think all of you have, right? Or not? No, I mean, uh, okay, cartels doesn't, but but AUC and FARC both have both have extort. Yes. And those extort is, I think, uh, both of these type. So they their equivalent in Cuba Libra run closer to the ground because I think their extort action is nowhere close to as powerful as in Andean Abyss. Um, okay, so I got caught up a little bit there because I forgot that my uh, my rally does very different things based on if I have a base in a location. It or does. Not. So if it does, if you have no base, it's just one. Uh, right. And if, place and if you have a there. base, then it's number of bases plus population. Right. right, so I can place I think right three gorillas in, uh, and like you know, what? let's hide the thing Boulevard. again, and Antioquia Boulevard. Thank you. So I, I mean, I got eighteen. I think I should. Yeah, you can just not. Yeah, just put them because again, if everything's on the board and you want to relocate, you can just pull them off of other places. Yeah, I don't think there's a and benefit that's... to having them in your resources. <laughs> That's my only base, so I may as well uh, drop all these guys. Uh, so I'm going to stop spending money, and I'm going to move to making money. I'm going to do some extortion. Right, so, now uh, so I can extort in any spaces where AUC forces include an underground gorilla and outnumber the enemy. So we're going to do Atlantico Magdalena. Three, four, you have five spaces, I think, to do and that. Aruka. That's it, I can only actually do it in three. Wait, you can't do it in Kaketa? Kaketa, no, I do not outnumber the enemy. Oh, you have to outnumber the enemy. Right, 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 you have to outnumber the enemy. Yeah, so I'm taking advantage while I, uh, right. while I can, because I oh, think gotta... some of these places will get right. taken advantage of. Uh, I can still rally. Oh, interesting, so I can inter completely interleave now I've made more money. Okay, uh, I don't think... I don't think... I mean, I could in Aroka. Maybe that's for one. You know, turns seem like they're the real premium, so maybe I should. Yeah, I mean, again, you're that's basically what you're spending. Your, I mean, if you ever get into a situation where you suddenly think you're running out of money, you can just do a another rally and another uh, another right. extortion. 
Okay, what do we have? DEA agents. Um, in three spaces with cartels pieces, shift one level toward active opposition. Huh. I'm just going to continue my path of uh, playing to avoid event cards being played on me. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Move two ships. Because that would be. I mean, the question is, would you do it? I th I think you you might. Yeah, to get that aid back up, maybe more so even than removing the gorillas. Well, I, seem pretty I, easy. I'm not. I'm not going to be eligible for this card. To be clear, right? Uh, oh, right. You're not eligible. Okay, so because yeah, I did. I did Blackhawks. Right. So you, yeah. what you have to ask yourself is whether you think Steve will do it. <laughs> that's that's the well, point. Right. Sorry, I, sorry, I'm blanking on this. Does Steve want support or opposition? Opposition, right? He wants opposition. Want opposition. Yeah. So yeah. he's going to be at well in spaces with cartels pieces. Yeah, he's going to look at stuff like um, Medellin, right? And just start moving that towards active opposition to like pull me away from this from my win condition. Yeah. So maybe maybe what I want to do yeah, is I, think, I don't think try to... I, I doubt that Steve's going to do I don't think Steve's going to do DE agents, right? It's not in his favor. No. Yeah, but it's also not very I mean, it might be in my interest to try to. I mean, the problem is that like there's not a ton of. Yeah, so Medellin is basically it where that would benefit him. I don't know how hard it is to normally, for him to make inroads into Medellin. So maybe it would be attractive. I don't have any sense of the value of that. More valuable if I was more spread out. Well, actually, yeah, if I was more in the. I mean, Medellin Alan's has right. three population. It's like in terms of population, it's like the second. Well, there's Cali. Medellin, those both have three, and then Bogota is the big one, right? So, okay, so I guess I'm going to take my chances here. I think I'm going to do my op plus special activity because I think I need to start uh, whatever producing, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, I think, what is it called? I'll leave processing. We'll see what he does. Actually, given that he won't want the limb op, I'm assuming he will take the event. I guess the question is, will it hurt me or, or not? But I'm not... I don't think it will. It's again, pretty easy to replace those gorillas. So right now, at least, so I think I'm going to just take my chances. All right. So uh, okay, I want to be doing cultivating, so I do need to do rally or march. Right. Okay. Probably. I mean, you already have. You already have. The question is, do you want to? Do you have any place where you want where you can? You can make another base in Guaviare, right? Is there is there value in Brian considering a pass here with the Salcedo card coming up? Would I that have, allow him to be eligible for that? I even looked at that cartel and like. Oh, cartel security chief cartel slip all the rules underground and relocate up to three of them anywhere. That doesn't seem that interesting. Oh. Everybody is underground right now. Yeah, Alcatraz right. active free assault against cartels in this space. That's Ooh. definitely bad. No. <laughs> yeah, that's... I mean, the question is, would I do that, right? Because right now, I mean, I don't know if... I don't... Honestly, I'm right now, I feel like not super threatened by the cartels. I feel right. way more threatened by freaking FARC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I just for the sake of learning, I really want to get onto that cultivate action. I think, um, or do, do I want to be doing processing? Processing. Doing so pro you you want to have? I think to get to get your money up, you want some shipments out, and you can only yeah. get out two shipments per yeah. uh, per process, right? So, and eventually that prop card is going to come up, right? I. Uh, the last time I played the game, I only had two. I was playing Cartel plus AUC, and I had two shipments out, and that was great. But four shipments would have been nicer, right? All right. So I think I think what I want to do here. Um. Okay, that would leave. Okay, so if I, t I took, no, I, I need to take the special op. All right. If, yeah, yeah. If you want to, if you want to get shipments out, you need to take the special op. Yeah. Okay, so I want to do process, so I need to rally or march, although I don't necessarily need to do anything with that. I don't. Maybe, uh, all right, let's try this. Let's rally. Let's. Um... Oh, yeah, and keep in mind, when the prop card pops, every base of yours is worth three resources. 
Yeah, so I'm trying... Sorry, the interface is really befuddling me. Okay, there we go, face. All right, so that, and then let's also... Okay, take it back. Now I'm a little bit scared of, of the cartels. <laughs> <laughs> Shore this up. Oh my and God, what are you in. doing? <laughs> That's, I mean, honestly, the, like I'm just worried about getting... Uh, swept or whatever, or right. uh, yeah, yeah, no, you, you, you should be, but again, like right now, well, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, you, know, <clears throat> you know, we're not doing any real crimes, so we start hurting people. In my, right. you know, this is a victimless crime right now. Yeah. So, I mean, I feel uh, like I've just yeah. been building up like an amazing buff government that has done absolutely nothing at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, and now I'm going to process. Right. I want to process. I'm just going to get to. So the process is a little bit i i had a problem maybe you won't have a problem with the ui but i think you have need to click on the shipments and then on the um gorilla you want to put the shipment underneath because they always travel with gorillas right well it's right now it's asking me to click on the base which makes sense but he, what i'm thinking of is what i'm thinking here is like let's just say i'm going to try to like you know cuddle up with fark a little bit for now especially because personally i'm aligned with their politics but um I think I want to go into Meta West. It just seems like the coziest place to put my drugs right now. So the problem is, I have one. Oh wait, Car oh, Carcia, that's exact. So you can also okay. you can also trade. There you go. You can also trade a base for money if you need money. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I guess the question is, let's just let's just see what happens. So you can also we'll stack see. them, but you know, I'm just, yeah, yeah, probably want. Oh to no, I definitely yeah. It seems like I'm sure I don't. <laughs> yeah, I literally you. stack. I mean, so I, yeah. We'll put that like we'll leave that meat out overnight and see if a bear comes and eats it or not. Just that's, to man, out that is the on. that is the most that's the strongest show of good faith I've seen in a very long time. Yeah, because well, you're just like, yeah. hey, Fark, we're cool, right? And Fark's like, yeah. twelve resources in my in, in my zone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really. Well, I mean, they're not safe anywhere. Well, well I mean, they're no. a little. They're well, maybe a little. Yeah. The area, maybe or uh, Putamayo. Yeah, they're potentially they're not safe. safe for you. I mean, you can just bring your. You can bring every single blue cube on the map over to a space if you want to. You, I can, so. and you can, you know. But I can tell you, I'll be honest with you. Like, I mean, at least right now, I don't see you as the as the main threat yet. So what I'm hearing is I should bring my drugs into into Medellin. That's I mean, Medellin is it's it's on point. <laughs> God, it's topically tremendous out there. Yeah. So I guess the focus, but the point is, I can't spread these around. They have to go to one space. I think they have to go to one space, right? Uh, city location, cities or department placement ships with any gorillas. I'm not sure. I just got I talked out. Be able I don't to know if, uh, if you know or departments. You wanna, so I think you can do, do it in one space. Provide me any assurances, Steve. But I did just get talked out of it by the government from putting them in Meta West. So. Uh, yeah. Speak now, yeah. Whoever holds I mean, piece. I just think you're 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 making it very hard for. It's like uh, Sylvester the cat and Tweety, right? It's like Sylvester's <laughs> gonna be like, Nah, I'm good. I'm 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 like anti birds. I'm not eating birds anymore. And then you like dangle uh, the bird. <laughs> Why yeah, am I? I was ready. This bear was ready for a picnic basket. Okay, I was yeah. I was. I was, I was <laughs> yeah. All right. So. This is. I'm exposing just how old I am by like making like. Sylvester the cat and tw and the bird references, I guess. The kids know Looney Tunes, right? That Space Jam movie just came out a couple years ago, so. Um, but I can rally more. I think you can. I don't. I don't. I don't want to though. I guess I don't want to go. No, if you rally straight. more now, you'd have to like shift people around. Right? That's too. That's too spicy for me. All right, yeah, Fark stuff. Right. Um, right. So it flows to me, and because, I have um, I have limb up or event. And I guess, I mean, the event definitely drives towards uh, WinCon. I, I guess the only hesitation I have with that is that it does open up um, the sequence of play for Auk to have the the Faction Op plus Special Act. Um, uh, wait, what if you do that? Yeah. If I take the event, right? If you take the, I mean, so what's going to happen on the next turn anyway is that the only eligible factions that are going to be there, I mean, you won't get a turn on the next card, right? 
Because... Oh, oh, that's right. Because Ox already ineligible. Okay, I, I see. You want it? You definitely want to do the Limop or the event, right? Because you're not going to get a turn on the next card. Because... Oh yeah, no, I'm not considering right. passing at all. No, I, I was, I was just thinking. I have to take a little bio break. I'm gonna be right back. You guys discuss that. Um, yeah. I'm turn off my camera. Well, not that camera. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. All right. Yeah, no, I was just trying to think through, like, does taking the event open up Auk to, to some other possibilities? But since you would already be ineligible, if I'm reading this right, it's going to... Event, the event's over after your the turn. The event's over, yeah. Salcedo, and you can't, affect, you can't affect the Salcedo event. I can't affect turn. the Salcedo, yeah. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and I'll do the, the Mas Yankees, um, how, to, how to pronounce that. Mas shift. Oh <laughs> that's, that's great. <laughs> Um, the theming in this game is just chef's kiss. It's just fantastic. Um, so three spaces with cartel pieces, one level towards active opposition. So, um, let's, so if I, I have to hit the globe to know. So Medellin is, is an option here. Um, Guaviare is an option here. And then, uh, Huila Tolima is it looks like actually i only have three so it makes the kind of makes the decision here pretty straightforward so if, um we take that to go to active we take that to bring down to passive support for government and then we take guaviare from passive to active opposition um keep driving us towards that win condition and i think that's pretty much it straightforward we hit end event um, and oh no, I, I should have stalled for more time because now the, Andy has the next turn. Um, oh, we can we can read this exciting new card that's come up, which has no choices. Poppies, poppies. growers mm -hmm. and government eradicate eradication focus on heroin source. Place or remove one shipment or insurgent base in any mountain department. Well, so, I'll be taking that. I'll be taking that event for sure. Yes. Yeah, and you're first up in sequence, right? But on, on that. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Poppies, man. <laughs> I haven't seen that card yet. Okay, what do I have here? Cartel informant. All cartels, guerrillas to active. Free assault against cartels. Or cartels slip all the guerrillas underground and relocate. I don't know that I want that. Flip all cartel guerrillas to active. Free assault against cartels. Yeah, I don't care. Well, would that not let you take all of those juicy resources? I, maybe it would. it would. Do I get one? To, is it one to one in that space? I think it's one to one in that space. Right. I think when I do, when I free assault, let me just make sure. Right. But I think for in the city is the assault basically. Each cube, remove one piece for every cube. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do I? Oh, man, it's a lot of money. But the question I have for me right now is like, do I care? I don't think money is. I mean, I, yes, I would be hindering twelve resources to the cartel and giving them to myself. But I get so much. I mean, my aid went down, but I still get so much money. Yeah. That I'm like thinking now. I need to start. I need to start preventing this and and this. Well, I need to get this up and and this down, right? Well, at the same time, be careful here. There's a lot going on in this game. <laughs> but that's too juicy, right? So it's too juicy. I'm sorry. I have to do this. Um, I have to do this. Flip all, car car all cartel goes to active. Free assault against car in each space. But I think it's only going to be that one space, right? Because right. I, I don't think we have another space where we clash. All right. So if I do that here, I do one, two, three, four. Okay. Noted. And now, Drug bust, add six aid per shipment. Boop, boop. End of end. <laughs> wow. Duly noted. <laughs> Just remember, so, Brian, how, my, how he told you, like, hey, remember, my, that was a real good show of faith. You know? I like, have, yeah. I have, so I work with um, David Isaacs at the School of Cinematic Arts, and David Isaacs was a writer on, like, MASH, right? So this is old school comedy writer. Who just is like infinitely funny so when i'm around him i'm getting i get ideas for dumb scripts and in this version of my script just now after that happened it would be like brian and i run into each other at gdc in a year and i'm like i can't i'm like i'm so happy to finally meet you in person and he just headbutts me right <laughs> it's like 
Remember? Duly noted, I'll, remember? I'll the headbutt you would pax from here, so it's fine. We, we carry that. We, we call that a receipt. Yeah, um, receipt. Yeah. Ryan will remember like, this, actually. Now we're even. Now we're even. I'm like, okay, f good. fair enough. Fair enough. So I think I'm going to do... I don't really care about poppies. Uh, I'm going to do something kind of similar to last turn. I'm going to do a bunch of extortion. Yeah, and there's some rallying, so... Sounds good. Sounds pretty good. Give me that money. End extort, and then rally. Yeah, there's nowhere else you could have, like, rallied into to make yourself be the dominant faction, I think, right? Oh, now I thought I could build a base. Do I need underground guerrillas to build bases? No, you should be able to replace two. If is it in the the base option appears in the menu bar? You yeah, have to click up there. It's at the top. Oh, it's a little bit annoying, but yeah, there you go. Okay, so we got a base. Oh, and yeah, and same thing goes for you as I kept on saying for Fark and cartels, right? As you right. add more gorillas back to your box, now you can rally them back into other places. Yeah. Um, Oh look at look what's happening! We're getting danger. Oh, and and okay, someone has just met their win condition. Bro, not bad. Nope. <laughs> yeah. I have enough money. I might drop another dude just so I have some spare yeah. dudes. <laughs> you have. I mean, look at you. Look how many you have in the reserve box. Like a bunch of them. Yeah, I don't want to drop my money too low. Okay. Two feels. Like I'm hamstringing myself. I just went back on my page. Uh oh, did that fucking thing up? I don't think so. No. So okay. You, um, you do the extort. Wow, you can even extort in like zero population spaces, right? So now Vichada becomes a place you can extort. Oh yeah, I, I can't go back and re-extort though. No, uh, I don't think. Well, so, wait, no, you. Mm, I, in the I ui can't. i can't okay so i'm gonna no, mesh wait. undo and then try and rapidly replay this one i think yeah no no exactly yeah undo because you could have put people out in yeah. those amazona squinea vichada and like extorted there as well right before you hit extort yeah that will give you okay so let's see how bonkers this is yeah it'll definitely give you like Quite, I mean, you'll basically make the money back that it costs to put them out. Right. 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 As long as I'm happy having them yeah. face up. Yeah. Well, yeah, sure. But I mean, I can airdrop on you, but like, again, <laughs> what good does that do me? Um, I need to get your, your, your base count is going to shoot above FARC. Yes. And we, and for sure, any, any moment now we're going to see the first prop card come up. Okay, so I'm going to end extort and see if it lets me go back to rallying. Should. It does. Should should do it, yeah. Now, there's all, it always has... Everything on RTT has some idiosyncrasies, but once you get to know them, they're pretty... I mean, it's, it works, right? Yep. And I can't... Oh, fuck! Ah, oh, I forgot to click one of them. Oh, uh, well. Oh, uh, what happened? Uh, I just clicked. Um, oh, you didn't put out the fourth base. End rally instead of on the other thing. Yeah, oh, no. I was so so concerned about my uh, my top bar. Well, it's okay. I don't have win conditions, so you don't have to worry about murdering me quite so hard. <laughs> Smart. You could you could have just said I did that on purpose. Yeah, absolutely. This is my <laughs> high level <laughs> strategy. It's like, yes. This is how he, I didn't want to be Andy. My strategy is like don't be Andy. Don't be, don't be Andy and Pax Premier. Oh, I'm sorry. Her. I keep swearing. I didn't ask if that's okay on the stream. <laughs> I'm just oh, enjoying fine. this game so much. No, no, no. I don't want to end it too early. Yeah. yeah you know? No. We. This is a. This is good. This is not labeled clean. <laughs> this oh, is. Wonderful. This is labeled not for children, on YouTube. <laughs> so this is the problem with trying to rapidly replay the turn as you get sloppy with your clicks. It'll happen. Vortex. So I'm gonna assume that Steve has no interest in poppies. Um. So, I don't think I actually want it either. Um, um. Or sorry, well, with respect to my 
I have one mountain base and I'm not sure. Am I even considered insurgent? You are. Okay. You are. It's like uh, the only. I'm not going to worry, worry about that event. Yeah. No, I mean, you can play as well, right? I think I'm. Actually, maybe what I want to do is play the event to give Steve op and special activities because. Yeah, Auk needs to maybe be dealt with a little bit now. I'm not sure. Um, so let's see here. Actually, I think I will. Let's take the event. And I'm going to place. Please remove one shipment and insurgent base. Okay, so I'm going to choose, well, on this one, obviously. Um, it's called Huila Tolima. Yeah. I was about to say And <clears throat> I think, uh, well, I'm just going to take my chances again with the shipments. It's no real harm for me in that. And if it's effectively <laughs> funneling a proxy war against the government, so be it. And let's put a case out. All right, so there we go. Let's see what happens. Uh, the, my favorite, one of my favorite things about this game is there's like, there are no like goodwill actions. Like they're all yeah. screw you. <laughs> like every single yeah. one of them. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, the beauty too is that you can actually. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I think to a slightly higher degree than PAX, you can actually stab multiple people at once in this game. Yes. Which is right. easy. Yeah. All right. So this this wheels to me. I have poppies as an operation. Um. I get interesting. So it doesn't Wait, no, let me. You no, you don't have. You don't. Um... No. You have to do the op plus special. Brian, use the event. Right. So you have second. Yeah. I'm oh, looking, that's right. Sorry. I'm looking here okay. right now. You would be the full second, menu. You would be second eligible for war tax. What does war tax do? Roll a die and add four times the result to government resources. Man, everything is money. Shift to see from neutral or passive to passive opposition. Neutral or passive support. I mean, war tax. There are no neutral. Yeah. So war tax does no... nothing for you, right? Because there are no neutral or passive support. Oh wait, no, there is one. There is. There's um, let me. Uh, Medellin is in um, Ooh, passive support. I do not like that. Right. So if you passed, you would force me to make it so that you can't use the card. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and that's. I mean, it's sort of weighing that versus further pushback against Ock, but I also don't know what that pushback looks like right now. Right. Like I guess. I would need to, um, so the rally is place one gorilla. So I, if I was looking to try to, to take a, an AUK base down, I could try to rally in Atlantico. And you, and you don't necessarily need to remove an AUK base. You just need to add more bases to potentially. There's just already a lot of bases on the map, right? That's I'm looking right now where there is even space. Yeah. Right. Well, not in the well, mountains. Tons of space. Right. Or, well, Santander at least. It's true. Santander is a possibility. I, I'm just thinking in terms of all base. I, I, economically, right now, I think it is cheaper for me to remove an AUK base by getting a gorilla and attacking versus doing two gorillas and then cashing cashing out for base and then. You have a special activity. Can you can you move and attack as FARC? Is that possible? Think, I don't think so. Can you? Mark, um, you can Mark. Now no, you can march and extort. Right. You, you could add a base to Vape, Vapes, in the bottom right. Yeah. And Santander by Ucker, as we said. Yeah. That's weird. Um, like, ambush, ambush doesn't kill anything. It, it do. It just. Oh, an ambush remove is like a guaranteed, uh, t a guaranteed attack, right? Oh. The attack right. automatically. It's yeah, gotcha. Automatic. So you don't have right, to roll. There's no die roll. Yeah. Yeah. But so one gorilla at one base, so it's, it's no way you can take out like all the units and a base. Right. Yeah, in Casanari you could actually take out both of those. But you could do it. Did you do Atlantico? Is that can you get there? Um I don't, I don't think you can get there. I can't. 
Well, so if I click on rally, um, yeah. yeah, it will not let me rally directly into Atlantico, right? Like I can only go, um, actually, when oh, ambush has to be ambush has to be preceded by attack anyway. Right. Okay, so I can only rally in departments or cities without support. So right. that's where the active support in Atlantico forbids me from from doing there. Right. I could rally. So I guess if I rallied, I would have to rally in like Cesar, move, and then attack. And the attack's a die roll too. The attack isn't guaranteed, right? Well, also, you can't so, do all that in the same. You have and to I do can't it, do all that in the same turn, the right? Same turn. Right, because it's it's limited. Yeah. All right. Okay. I. I mean, again, if you did attack, you could do the ambush in Arauca Casanare and just remove pieces. Right. Let me oh, let me check the map. Where's Arauco? It's in the. It's it? it's south of Venezuela. I see it. Okay. Right. Okay. Like if that if your if your goal is to remove AUC bases then that would be a good option. If your goal is to add FARC bases, then Santander and Vopes is, are the obvious choices. Yeah. I mean, the one thing about adding the bases is that it does put me a little more towards my own win condition as well. It um, does, yeah. Okay. Well, so... And, and adding bases, I guess Valpa's already, like we said, Valpa's already has two, and we can take, um, we can cash in there. Right. Um, and then you can still like, so, store it afterward. Yeah. Okay, so if we rally and do um, Valpa's, and then, okay, and now I have to click base up at the top, right? Yep. That's the sort of weird, okay. Mm -hmm. So we cash, cash those in, that automatically goes, okay. Um, and then I can still, um, so there's no room for bases in Meta West. There's nowhere. Um, no, Santander. Already, you know. I think your only option is Santander. Um, is and I, I can't do that because it has, Santander has active support, so I can't rally there. What about Narino? No. One thing to be aware of, because I don't think you did this, is if you are planning on extorting, if you extorted first, you could have earned a resource for Valpe. Because those guys were um, un unrevealed their underground still. That's true. Yeah. However, if you do that, you might misclick, because that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so if you we... just going to get fancy with my cubes. You can just put more troops right back into Valpe now, and then extort, right? Uh, um... No, it doesn't let me. Yeah, it's not letting you're, already, me. you're already activated that department. Right? Yeah, placing the base kind of uh, ends the, the a, rally in that location. Yeah, it's, a, it's an or. It's an or. It's not an and. Right. So you can't just stack actions on in the same department in that case. So. Gotcha. Okay. And then I guess that yeah. also means extorting doesn't necessarily. Well, it'll give you one extra. It'll give you an extra resource. If you undid that, extorted first, um, and then did the and did the rally in Vopes, you'd at least get one extra resource, right? Okay. So right. now you can still so do everywhere then... else. Um, uh, Meta West, you should be able to extort in a bunch of places. Right? Yeah. Um, there's Meta East and Meta West right. and uh, the West Coast, um, Cordova sure. and uh, Narno, Kauka. Yeah. Um, I mean, but flipping your dudes does make them easier for the government to take them out. The so. Yeah, so it's the risk-reward, right? This is yeah. the classic tension here. Um, I don't know that I want to flip people all over the place. I think just um, being aware of that line of play, thank you, John, um, for Vapas, at, at least makes sense. Because um, I'm mean, about you to have, catch You're pretty anyway. decent on resources, right? You have 11 resources. That's pretty good. For yeah, them. I'm not I'm not hurting okay. yet. Okay. Do, so I'm um, in propaganda, do all the pieces flip back? They do, yeah. Everything right. goes. Everything goes back underground at the end of uh, propaganda. Okay, which at, we are still driving towards at some point, right? Like you said, we're yeah, we're, yeah, no, we're gonna we're get, we're gonna get there. We're, we're gonna get there. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the extort. I'll I'll just keep it limited to Valpas. Um, hopefully I click this without destroying something else. Um, okay, so now do Valpas, uh, base. Mm -hmm. Take the two. Yep. Okay, so place the base there. 
Okay, and then and now, for, you can, now you can still continue rallying. Right? right, I can still rally elsewhere. So, um, I think like the Meta East, you can put in two more people if you wanted. Um, I wonder if Cordoba, I want to build up you can put in two more people. I wonder if I want to build up in Casanare um, to at least not this turn, but maybe in a future turn, take a swing at that base. Sure. I mean, if I were um, you, I would literally put out my my dudes, yeah. right? Like I'd put yeah. out. I would just like go. I'd start going, getting those start like, folks out, right? You have yeah. You have nine in the reserve. Um, place <laughs> where is okay? So place one gorilla. Where are the? You have, to, cl you have to click oh. on them in the upper right of the map. Your far gorillas I see. in okay. upper right. Yep. Yep, they're there. Okay. Um. All right. So then so you can put two in Meta East. Meta East, yeah. Put two in no, Cordoba. Think... Put one in Cauca. Whew. Uh, Cordoba, where did I miss? Left. Yeah, I mean... There's no uh, reason for you not to do this other than, like, uh, you no, don't ever... Yeah. Yeah, because you're protecting your base there, right? And you're setting yourself yep. self up for a second base there. Yep. And then uh, Narno. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, yeah, just to, in terms of getting the most out of this turn, I mean, I do have... You know, I don't want to totally spin myself into the poorhouse, but I mean, we want to get the most out of this turn. It's not, you know what? Honestly, for you, it's not that bad because your ability to extort now with all these people on the map is pretty powerful, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think you have to worry as much as the government because I, for the government, it's much harder to get money during during a turn, right? Um, the government gets and, and most of their money. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, narco bank. Narco bank is standing by. Narco bank. Is standing <laughs> by. And narco bank definitely. Has a very like loving, warm, fuzzy feeling for the government right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're simpatico right now. It's oh, yeah, yeah, um, no, the government. Like, we're not being assassinated on the street right now, at all. Yeah, thus far, <laughs> yeah. All right, I, I think I will go ahead and put two in Cesar. We'll see if we cash those in later. Uh, that'll probably be the last of the rally, or the, or I can do one. Right. Um. So, just to get just to get some dudes out there, we'll end rally. That puts it to government. Okay. War tax. Let's see. That This makes no sense. Well, resources. What's the bad one? Shift to save from neutral. I don't like the second one, but I also don't think, I also don't think John sees me as a threat, which I'm really much, very much not right now. I'm at 53 support. Um, oh, our first chat message. Uh, what app are you using to play? Rally. The, why am I typing this? You're listening. <laughs> My brain doesn't work. I'm sorry. Uh, it's called Rally the Troops, rally-the-troops.com, uh, and it is genuinely amazing. Um, okay, so do I think, I don't think that you would do this. I don't feel like this is a thing that you would do. Like, I don't think that that's worth it for you. Like, if I do the full faction op. Seem like it. Well, the thing is, if I do the full faction op with special activity, which was which is what I would like to do, then you are kind of forced to maybe do the event. But I don't want that. I can pass and just... I'm first on the next one. Oh, it's true. And what is it? Remove any two police or replace them with available oh, gorillas. Mm, that also doesn't... That doesn't seem super strong. It's in, that yeah. card seems pretty weak sauce. Um, police really have not had anything to do this game. Right. I mean, okay. it gives me an easy way to build like a base in a city i guess on the next turn but yeah i uh, now this is the first time I, like everything else up to now was like simple decisions but now i think i'm just gonna if you do that then i have to worry about it later i guess or i because i because i can't buy us or i rally and i actually buy a civic action in that space because i think i'm gonna have everything i need to buy a civic action let's do that because that way i don't have to worry about that card i don't really, or train <laughs> i guess it's called train all right, let's train, and now I can, let's see, civic action. So I'm not going to click on civic action, I think I can just do it here. So I'm going to do it in Medellin, right? So now that moved me to active support, um, and that's the only place I can do a civic action in. And then I have to look at my card, because now it's going to be a little bit more complicated. So, because I would like to do... Uh, place up to six cubes, then one six space, replace three cubes with a government base. So I could do an airlift first and then a base. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going through all this. I think I'm going to airlift. 
uh, three people to somewhere else where I want a base. And now the question is, where do I want a base? Where do I want a base where I think it's going to be important to move stuff my way? That's one population, one population, one po Everything out here only has one population. Oh, it's two population here. Whoa, there's so much stuff going. I mean, this would be just... If I put the put all this in Huila to Lima, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we have ten pieces there. Ten. So I couldn't even buy civic actions there because I have I need to have control. Hmm. So that's not gonna work. So I guess I don't do that. I could get this on my side, but I'd have to. Well, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to airlift from here into here, and I'm going to lift one, two, three, four, five, Hello. six. <laughs> um, and airlift. Then I'm going to... Wait, what? And I want to end train. What the hell? Why can't I... Oh, does airlift have to come at the end? One space to one space. From one space to another. Yeah, but now I'm like, it's basically the only button it's giving me after that is end train. But I'm not end train. Like I wanna, I wanna still train, but it's literally not allowing me to click on anything right now. Hmm. I feel like if I hit end train now, it's gonna. It feels like it's gonna end the turn. It feels like it's gonna end the turn. That said. Undo. That's so Place up weird. to six cubes and replace six cubes. And give them oh, maybe. Yeah. I, oh, no, no, no. You know what? I know what happened. I think the civic action has to come last. Then in up to one space. Yeah. This, here's what. Yeah. This is what happened. Uh, I can't do that. I have to do the training first. And then. Yeah. And then the, the civic action comes at, all the way at the end. All the way at the end. So let's not worry about that. Okay, so let's do this. So now let's do, let's try this first. I'm gonna airlift from here into here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And airlift. There we go. Okay, that worked. Now I can do base here. One, two, three. That's what I wanted. There we go. That was the plan. Wait. Oh, again, it's base or. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm just getting the order wrong. It's base or civic action. I can't mm. do both, right? It's, I mean, right. If, I, if I actually could read, I would see that, right? Yeah, it says then in up to one six, there's three cues, one base or. Okay, so let's first deploy. I'm gonna go kinda, kinda wild here and just deploy a lot. Just get all this stuff out. Uh, oh boy! Want, <laughs> kind of want to get maybe a couple more, oh, like that. Next, maybe one more here. This is just costing me a lot of money, but it's fine. It's fine. Next. That's that stolen blood money of yours, drug money. It is. It is next, and then here. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm just gonna get everything. Yeah, well. Next, yeah. and now I'm gonna. Now the question is, do I base or do I civic action? <sighs> I think I do civic action because I don't want you to. There we go. But now I'm really low on money. Mm, it's so annoying. I really need that card to come up. I'm gonna end train. There we go. I'm done. I probably shouldn't have. It was so I did the mistake that you all just didn't do, which is I didn't just. I shouldn't have just deployed all over the place because that cost me three every time. That was probably a bad idea. Oh, well. What do we think? Should I roll a die and add four times the result to government resources? <laughs> so, War Tanks is garbage for me, and I'm up next in Carabineros, so I'm going to pass. Yeah, I just made sure... I wanted to make sure that you wouldn't, like, shift uh, Midian to active opposition. Right. Um... So now Carabineros also seems kind of... I mean, I am the direct beneficiary of one of those abilities, and it still seems crappy. Because I can replace two police with gorillas in a city, but you can murder them. Very easily. 
Well, I have, um, to, I have to sweep. I can't just murder them, right? I have to sweep and then attack them. It takes me two turns, right? Here's, uh, here's my sweep all no. resources. Assault, assault in a city removes one piece for every cube. Like, but does I it? Do they have to be active I still? Think they have to be active, right? Oh, okay. This so might be a quick remove, reference yeah. thing. Remove one active gorilla, so they have to be active, which means I have to gotcha. sweep first. It's pretty. It's pretty hard for me to get rid of underground gorillas. But right. Remind me what. What good does it do for Auk to inhabit a city? Uh, terrorize, right? Because if you well, if they so if Auk was like, the only faction that's threatening me is the government, and then they would terrorize in Bogota, they would immediately yeah, I, remove eight from my victory condition. Right. right? Yeah. So I guess. I guess it doesn't benefit Ox board position to be in a city per se. It's just that it it's, it, it, to count. it's a control it's a control lever, right? Right. It doesn't like, advance towards WinCon. Yeah. It it prevents Andy from getting exactly. closer to you. Exactly. It's very much a I need to keep Andy in check because no one else is that kind of stuff. Counter punch. Right? Yeah. I'm also up first in the next card, but I think that's also not. I mean, I can shift cities to neutral, but again, it's just playing. Well, we'll take these resources to zero, but I don't know if that matters much. They're effectively at zero right now, anyway. Yeah. Um, so it feels like I should be either taking a full action, you know, plus special activity, etc., this turn, or passing and taking one next turn. Um, does it make a difference? I mean, I suppose I can react to whatever y'all do if I choose to delay and I'll have one extra resource but is it better to strike while the iron is hot um yeah I definitely screwed myself with money that's for sure <laughs> there's not going to be a whole lot happening with me until uh until the, I, I'm very much banking on the prop card popping up soon feels like another rally turn which like I feel like I'm falling into a bit of a pattern here, but maybe that's fine. I mean, um, you can you can fi quote unquote fix what you. Ah, oh, man, I should have built the base because now you're going to build a base there. That's so annoying. Uh, ah. Well, so the question is, if I do, how easily can you destroy said base? Well, I'm gonna you again, I'm going to have to sweep before I attack, and sweep costs me three, and attack costs me three, and I have three. So can you the base is with the last piece removed right so you have to get through all the gorillas i have to get through to all get... the gorillas first and i can't it's not like get through the active gorillas if you have oh, okay. gorillas, that was my I can't, yeah it's not like it's not like you have three underground and then i get to remove the base that's not how that works right so yeah i'm <laughs> i'm gonna chalk this up to like um yeah you know i'm running this and i'm teaching it so i'm a little, not, not fully i'm not it says i focused. can't <laughs> why can i not extort Oh, because there's nowhere where I have inactive and I outnumber. Yeah, because there's right. no longer like stored in uh, up there because I have six troops. So there. Rallying, well, I, have, I have a I have a decent amount of money at least. Wow, what a this idea! I definitely did not need to get that many people out. That was a bad, 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 bad idea. Yeah, the base stacking is an interesting limiting like logistical factor here for sure yeah like oh no i'm just marveling at my inability to save money it's kind of like you know it's kind of like in real life <laughs> big government big government spending it's Andy. like let's get every synthesizer what does that cost eh, i'll worry about it later i can also move interesting as part of a rally you can I'll move any gorillas to there and flip all gorillas underground. Interesting. Right. If base, think, right? Yeah, if base, you can like uh, summon the banners. Right. And it's a way to reset so that you can extort again. Um, but I will tell you, there's no like. I think the next card that's going to flip is going to be a prop, a prop card. The next one of the next two has to, right? Right. It feels like. The, the probabilities of it not being are, are getting increasingly small. Like well, it's like in the first. Runway. It's in the first twelve, right? So yeah, and we've already flipped. Yeah, so it's going to be 
one of these. And that's good for me because otherwise I'm going to be broke. I can't do anything. And this is so annoying. I'm going to lose all these troops again because I'm going to have to redeploy them because there's no base there. Ah. Government I am now. I should have built a base. Wait, I'm not broke because I haven't extorted yet. Go ahead, extort. Uh huh. I will say as a quick time check, we're looking at oh, 20 minutes. So here's the thing. I am i don't know what you guys are in terms of time, but like I don't have any hard out. But we can also okay. just stop it and pick it up again at, at a later date. Um, or just, or just call it there, right? But like I'm okay with playing it. Because I think what's going to happen... Well, again, obviously I said we end at noon, but it depends on how much time you guys have. I keep going personally. Um, obviously. Sorry, what? Going on. I can keep going personally. Yeah, I can keep. Oh, yeah. I can keep going. I can keep going. So there's no pressure, but Steve, I have no hard out. Um, I might be able to keep going for a little bit. We'll, okay. we'll see. Well, let's we'll see how this goes. If we have to stop at any point, we'll just we'll just uh, we'll just abort and continue at a later date. Oops, I'm getting a reconnection message. Oh, me too. Okay. Yeah, me too. Did we break rally the troops? No, I just reloaded oh, and it was fine. There we go. Yeah, yeah, we're back up, and it's took Brian now for cartels. So, if nothing else, I want to get to a prop card because I yeah, feel like definitely get, that's the if big we don't get to a prop card, then this is going to be a <laughs> it's not going to be a complete like actual play of the game because um, a lot happens on the prop card. It's a lot, a lot so, of it's automated, but yeah. I tend to take this card just out of spite. Um, <laughs> I to place, place something because <laughs> I just think it'd be hilarious to have. Cartagena and uh, the other one up there just be pure ox cities. <laughs> well, one one limiting factor here: there's only one ox gorilla in the pool, right? There is. I just placed a bunch. Well, I'm I'm intensely curious if I can yank them. That's a good. It question. says available, so I don't it's think available. you can. Uh, okay, that's true. It's probably not. Yeah. Probably only do it in one spot. Yeah, it would also be amusing. <laughs> I'm uh, <laughs> see, uh, I love it. I'm gonna just. Just for shits and giggles, I do want to see what could, what would happen here. It's probably only one spot, right? Is my guess. You probably have to click on the on the gorilla yeah, at the bottom. Okay. You have to go from the pool, so yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. I mean, you're probably still going to do that, right? Because you're not going to come up on the next card. No, I might. Well, I might want to take the oh. Oh, 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 oh I'm, I'm going second. Whoops. Oh. Shift a city from support to neutral. Ugh. Gross. <laughs> from any support. Hey. From any support. Man. That's not the uh, active uh, Plus, yeah, government yeah, that resources be... minus three. Well, so if you thought you were broke before. No, I'm going like... to. I will not. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm not doing anything before the next prop card. Oh, so we can Explode. nuke 16 points from Bogota. That's a lot. Yeah, that's rough. That's really, really rough. I mean, I'll hopefully be able to buy them back up with uh, with um, civic actions during the prop card, but like it's, it's mm. gonna cost me a lot of money. Um, oh wait, what's going on, Bogota? There, can, look at the oh. event on. Uh, Over the on next Columbia one. Nueva, yeah. right? Bogota's the juicy steak that John yeah. and I are so like eyeing. It would remove yeah. me. It would put me down to minus sixteen on my on my support, but also I'll pay six resources total during the prop card to get it back up to sixteen. So you know, you're you're basically taking three from me now and another six later. So you're reducing my resources by nine and making sure that I literally can't do anything anymore until the prop yeah. card pops up, which probably not bad, but. I'm five no. away from winning. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're six away. So it's not. It's not like I'm like I'm one closer to winning than Fark. One. Right. Yeah. I'm just looking at some of these um, operations I've never done before, like attack and terror. I don't think. I don't even have really underground gorillas right now. It's not anywhere interesting. I don't have any underground gorillas. AUC is, again, the closest to winning right now. AUC is one away from winning. Nah. Um, I'm just saying in terms of if we're looking yeah. at the numbers, uh, if this if the game was over... I, also don't think I, I don't think I can do much with them base-wise. Um, I, I don't think I can do anything with them base-wise. 
one the limp hop like they're just they don't have any underground gorillas they don't have any gorillas in a space with an awk base i don't think no i mean you could so again knowing that i can't do anything anymore and maybe other people have other things to do you could consider putting out more shipments knowing that the that the prop card's coming soon right to like how can i do that with just a limited op oh right i'm sorry you're right yeah. i think i just want to maybe march um, or rally, <clears throat> or my rally choices. Yeah, I'm gonna rally. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm, no, March, I think. <clears throat> No, Rally. I need to protect these shipments. I don't think that, like... Can I even protect? I mean, Someone can just choose which units to kill, right? So I can't protect a shipment by putting more troops, more gorillas around it, can I? Not really, no. Well, the, the only time they are not... You're going to love this one because you love me so much, right? You're going to uh -huh. love this. So look at your... I think they are not allowed to do that in areas where police outnumbers them. Let's see, where would I, I, I you know, this may be a, I'm starting to confuse uh, Cuba Libre. Cause I know that the way you get in Cuba Libre mostly has to do with uh, um, assassination. But, yeah. you can, yeah, but you can, yeah, up to three. So, All right. Yeah. I think I'm trying to, what I'm not totally grokking is it feels like I need to like, these shipments seem so precarious. They do, but keep in mind that you also, like, you're going to get 30 resources from your bases, right? So you're going to go from, right? So you're going to get, yeah. you're going to shoot above 40 for sure. Um, but then you're going to have to spend money again, right? So that's why you might want to get some more resources. Um, no, and the win cons are evaluated before the resources before the every problem. yeah yeah it's the first step right look it's at the, the yeah. look at the, the problem yeah so like really the way uh, yeah the way i need to win is you know i have to like kind of time shooting above the 40 right before a propaganda card there's nothing else i can do to really well know, okay i'll, I'll be so clear to... like in the in the one game i played with the quick start scenario with uh, two other players uh we didn't none of us even on the second prop card none of us reached our win condition like the game ended on like mine. I won with like minus two, to minus sure. three to minus five or something, right? Okay. Well, anyway, I'll just scoot things along here. Let's um. Let's. I'm gonna actually march. Uh, I'm gonna try to march. I'm doing it wrong. There we go. I just now. Now I think I'm just now. Anyone who wants these drugs to be able to take them, so I'm just gonna put them here and just <laughs> see what Steve does with me. Uh, All right. It would be much uh, better for you if they were if they were like underground in a city with the drugs, right? Because then I couldn't get to them easily, right? I don't but have not, any. But they're not under. To... There's no. There's no way they're for not. you to flip them, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, there is with, um, but it's a lim op. But it doesn't help broad. you. It doesn't help you with the with the with your opposing cart with your opposing insurgents because they don't care about whether you're visible or not. Right, we can attack you if you're yeah. underground. You guys can or not, attack each other. You're just in the. You're just hanging out, and you can see each other. Yeah, yeah. That's All true, right? right? I'm not. I'm not dreaming that that's the way it is, right? I I'm pretty sure from yeah, the the. the, the yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Attack. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The only notes for active for active guerrilla, it's all on like assault for right. like the the government card, yeah. right? Like all of the other attacks are just guerrilla. Yeah. Like. Oh. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Well, and I guess I'm gonna rally. I'm just. I don't know what to do. Honestly, I'm just gonna rally. I think. It just. Just yeah. Yeah. Why not? Okay, remove shipment. So this is so, just, this is the, giving you the opportunity to remove the shipment shipment to do another lim yeah. op, 
right? Um, oh, and I want to do that. Oh, limited. Yeah, no, actually. Okay, I understand what's going on now. All right, so, sorry, thank you. Uh, I know what I want to do now. So yeah, we finally got to that corner case that I, that came up. John okay. John asked about this in the beginning, and it's like, oh, you can also yeah, yeah you can also remove it to do an extra limited operation. Mm. So I'm gonna going to rally, and rally here twice. No, only once. Okay, uh, I need to find a place. Do I? I'm like fully saturated on these bases. Shit. Okay. Uh, I was going to rally. Uh, that's really. Okay. I just need to start getting some like. Limited operation. Oh, bummer. Yeah, you can't. You still can't. If you're thinking of like getting more drugs out, you can't do that with a limit, oh. right? Uh, right. But I was. Yeah, I was thinking, okay, well, this drug is effectively, now it's, okay, I'm sorry, I'm thinking too much. All right, let's, <laughs> I'm just going to rally. Getting into the combinatorial uh, complexity of a game with perfect with perfect information. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And I, I actually am going to, I'm going to remove this shipment. Yeah, I, think, I don't think I don't that's going to happen. Like, if you're worried no. of someone robbing it from you. Yeah, and I'm going to rally in Amazonas again. Which, and I mean, realistically, like, I spent down to five. Like, that's a pretty yeah. juicy shipment, you know, to, to take a swing at. So probably... Well, yeah, so I guess it's... I guess the I guess for me, it's not... The shipment's not just a resource. It's that I, I can sort of, like, right. move and build in the same turn. So I, got, I need to think about that. Okay, sorry for all that. Fark. Now I, now uh, I... Yeah. No, I, and, and Fark, go ahead, because the car... The, <laughs> Colombo Nueva is up there. <laughs> Yeah, got Hugo Chavez, and there's we still we're still not seeing we're still not at the prop card. So. <laughs> damn, um, damn it! Yeah, it's we, so, is there a card count somewhere? Sorry, what? Is there like a card count? Of I mean, how many it's we, four we, piles we, of six, right? It's four piles yeah, of six cards, and the and in the second pile we have the first prop card. So it should come, should come after twelve cards. So it has yeah. to be. <laughs> has to be. It. So there's 14 right. cards left, right? There's that little number. Yeah. If I'm reading that right. Yeah, you know so you're reading that correctly. There are 14 cards left. So right. it's in the next two cards. It's in the next, in the two, next cards. two. Yeah, for sure. Um, like it's wild. <laughs> it's this far down, but I mean, yeah, there you go. Amazing yeah. odds. So, so yeah, I mean, I guess the tension here is that either, like, how, okay, so how much if I take the the counterinsurgent benefit on Colombia Nueva with Alk being close to win condition and that prop card coming up I think I mean you know my opinion on that I'm pretty sure I don't have to tell you that you nerfing me further from how nerfed I already am um, while while Alk is like one point away from winning is probably not yeah. a good use of your turn but it's probably yeah I mean it's it's a it's appealing to help my own win con a little bit, but it's not going to help it enough to keep Alk from being in striking distance of the win. Yeah. So, so you can either mess with my stuff, or you can build a fair number of bases. I think either which yeah. will uh, will push me beyond the point of being yeah. able to win. And just for the record, that card does nothing for me, right? Like I already have. Right. I mean, it gives me three resources, but I can't like shift a non opposition city to active support. I might do it just for the three resources, although right. Also just as a reminder, um, the movement's based on the destination space, not the source spaces. So for yeah. you to move say you were gonna assault Aroka, you can move everything in from Santander and Meta East in for like one resource, I think, if I'm not mistaken. That is true. That is for sure yeah, that is true. Um, it's always the destination. Then I then yeah, I guess once once you get there, you can't really yeah. do anything. <laughs> But it's more so, like beak, but march and attack are two different things, right? Right. So I think taking, I'll go ahead and take the extort because I'm about to cash in in uh, Naruto, uh, Kauka, and Cordoba. Um, go ahead and extort there. We'll end the extort, make sure that I don't goof this up. Um, we'll base, build in uh, Kauka, return those. We'll base build in Cordoba return those 
Um, I can advance. Oh, this is brutal. Towards. Um, I can go ahead and put a piece in Cesar just to build that up to potentially cash next turn. And I think it's worth. Let's see. Oh, man. I think it's worth a shot there. Um, I can. Now, the thing about the bait. So if I put one in Casanare. I mean, it's going to be open to attack, but that's that's also going to be taking time. It's basically going to siphon off resources from Alk to to be able to mm -hmm. to do that. Well, I'd also I'd look at the uh, Hugo Chavez card if I were you, because yeah, uh, I haven't even looked John's at that. Gonna, yeah. John's going to be taking that. I think has to take like literally has to take that card. Place and... card based in a department next to Venezuela. Sabotage each empty line of communication touching uh, Kukita. Or it's more the one above it, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm really? not, so, not going to be taking that. Well, someone, yeah. Okay. Also, I mean, if someone, if someone besides John took it, you'd remove the base in Aroka, right? But yeah. presumably John takes it and just removes whatever red stuff you're about to put down. Right. All, any red stuff in general. I mean, because well, all the red stuff. And John's going to be first, first, first eligible in that card, for He'll sure. He'll be first eligible yeah. since I, I'm already building out. Okay, so so... Building in Casanari is at risk because of what's happening with Hugo Chavez. So. I strongly think you should do it. But you should not listen to me. <laughs> um, I guess the point is, like, it's just going to be really hard to make inroads in any of these territories because it's just going to get undone. Yes. You know? No, and, it's a good heads up. And but, it's, it's a good but, like, if you, if you don't do it, then you're even weaker, I guess, the next time around. So, yeah. Yeah. Um... And Colombia Nueva is definitely coming off the board, right? So Hugo Chavez would be the active card coming. Yeah. Well, I mean, after I take my, after I take the event, yeah, it's going away. It's going away yeah. no matter whether I pass or not, right? Right. Right. Um, now I'm realizing that passing and taking it are identical for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wish it said plus six or something. That would be nice. Now I'm going to have to pass because I need money. Yeah, I don't really see. Um, I don't know that I see anywhere else that I can build up though. Um, I guess. Yeah, I mean, just trying to trying to think through this out loud. I don't know that building in Casanare, like, it, it, it basically it cost me a point. Or he's gonna take it anyway, so I might as I don't know that there's a value in building there. Um, I I think I'll end the rally and pass to and, and take it to Andy. We'll wheel to you. Okay, so I get to do a limb op or an event. I could also well if I do a limb op, I can't do my special action, so that doesn't make sense. So I think I'm just gonna straight up pass here. I don't think there's anything I could I could start looking at my sheet and being like, hmm, what can I do? What can I do? And I'm like, no, there's. Oh. It all costs money. Uh, it's not uh, money. What, what? what? So, oh, oh, because I okay. Does it cost money to attack? Everything costs money for me. Oh, do you want some money? <laughs> Here we go. And it ends. Because I'm looking at, I'm looking at the Antioquia Bolivar. And, and then I would like yeah. to. I mean, the thing is, I can't attack here yet, right? Because I'd have to sweep first. Because I don't see these. Right, I can't attack. I can't attack them. So I have to. I have to. I'd have to do a sweep. Then on the mm. next turn, I have. I don't think there. I don't think. I don't think I'm going to have a next turn because these six are going to have to go, get redeployed because there's no base here. Because I was. Because I should have not done. I, there's a lot of things I should have not done. Right. <laughs> I, I should have stolen my, my drugs. I should have, shouldn't have stolen. Mm. Your, I st my the, the downfall of the government was when I started stealing your drugs for sure. To to be completely honest, like I don't think you need to worry about Antioquia Bolivar, right? Because I can no longer get more bases than Fark. Like there are right, no, too I'm many not, Fark bases on the board. I'm actually not worried about your wing condition right now. I'm worried yeah. about like I would like to move this two population in my favor, and there's not really a good way for me to do it. Mm. There's not really a good way for me because the first of all, limops ops garbage in all cases. You know what? Let's. I'm gonna. This is pointless. I'm just gonna pass. There you go. 
There we go. Next hey, that's our propaganda. Yep. We made it. And as we said, I think I am, my hand is pretty much forced to take Hugo Chavez. Unless for some reason everyone wants to pinky swear that they will not use it uh, to murder my little dudes. I think you need That's to the your silence speaks volumes. That's so. Swearing. <laughs> so I'm going to take you, go. Um. Oh wait, can I only do it from one space? In a space, yeah. A, a space. Uh, a space. Yeah. Uh, so do I want to do Aroka or? Uh, oh, well, I could be a real bastard. I could remove your three from Santander Bayaka. Yeah, you could. You could. Does that benefit me in any way? I mean, it, it, it control... maximizes the use of the ability. No one will control it. No one will control it, so that lowers I mean, what's already you know, towards all, the government. In all honesty, I think you want to protect your base in Aroka, right? Even though it's inefficient, I think you want to make it so that it's harder for FARC to mess with your bases. Is my is what I would do if I was if I was the AUC. Yeah, or I could clear out. But clearing out other places means it's going to be easier for me to build bases in them. This is also true. So do I want to protect my existing base or... I mean, I like the idea of you removing them from Santander for obvious reasons, but like, if I were you, I would do Aroka. That's... Yeah. I, if I were you... Yeah, hit me. I would put some soldiers out on those lines of communication and... Can you fuck those lines of communications up to limit any resources? Okay, you need to stop listening to the person who got their drug stolen. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Cartel has the ability to pay me off. T tell me more. I, I, well, <laughs> since I haven't internalized all the in since I haven't internalized all the actions, I don't know if it's possible, but if you lay guys down on the lines of communication, I think that will limit how many that resources will, and every animals. time you lay down someone on the lines of communication, I do not get those resources. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I don't know like how many you could you know suppress right now, but that would be the you know better long term thing maybe question mark. I, don't I know. mean, you could also just not. You could also just let. You could also just let Brian do that, right? Do your thing. Brian's up next. You still get. I mean, to be fair, we're not really trained in that sort of thing. We're more of like you know. Back <laughs> you have car, you have gorillas. You can just put your gorillas. You can rally I mean, them if, out onto onto lines of communication. If I do lines of communication, I think there's a, a very low chance that uh, Andy does not choose to nuke me from orbit. <laughs> I with mean, the with the power of the Venezuelans, I can't do it yet. I definitely can't do it yet. But oh, I just mean if I if I don't um, take Hugo Chavez, you'll have the ability to do that, right? Uh, what? Well, no, no, no. I'm out. I, no, no. The I next will. next eligible faction is uh, is Brian. I'm yeah. I'm eligible, but you can basically consider me not even being there, right? That's like but also know. yeah. I don't you get could another also... turn. I, right, because I only... if I move and then Brian moves, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will okay. only get a turn if Brian passes, which would be the, <laughs> the wildest thing. It's like, okay, I'll pass. Okay. Wait, wait what? <laughs> so, I want to make this interesting. Nah, that, Brian, I don't if like I move things onto lines of communication, like the sound of that. will you use Hugo Chavez to destroy FARC rebels instead of my rebels? No. <laughs> or, well, I'll use it to destroy FARC rebels. I mean, can I just say I won't play Hugo Chavez against you? Can I have a little more wiggle room than that? I mean, your your only options are to use it for... Oh, but you you could, yes, you could just take your own turn. I mean, I'm going to get... I know I know what's going to happen. I, I know exactly what's going to happen. What's going to happen? He's going to do a place a FARC base in a department next to Venezuela and sabotage each empty line of... Con he's going to mess with the government, of course. Uh, well, I don't want you using it to help FARC. No, he's, of course he's going to put out a FARC that's, base. Well, oh, oh, that's, that's, put a lot of, that's put a lot of words in my mouth. <laughs> you know you're going to do it. I, like I, wasn't even, I, wasn't even, I didn't even see the line of play you're talking about. <laughs> you're... You are so much smarter than that. There's no universe you didn't see that. Okay. Oh, I'm very petty. I'm very petty too. So you have to, you have to I think I'm doing this. I have no idea if this is good, but I want to move things along. I'm new king Santander Bayaka. Uh, oh God. <laughs> Had a good run. All right. I'm gonna. Oh boy. I'm gonna get. Uh... Well, know. I'll just say if you if you had left the event card for me, I was gonna 
actually pass for the lulls and let Andy do it too. <laughs> <laughs> that way I can do plausible deniability. That's you, amazing. I'm learning a lot uh, from from the dynamics here. It's so, <laughs> absolutely hilarious. It's a lot of like it's a lot of tongue in cheek. Um, All right, so I get the whole op plus special activity. All right, let's, let's cook. Um, oh, that makes a lot of sense for you to cook now, right? Because now yeah. no one's gonna. Yeah, you, you're gonna get. You're just gonna like make twelve extra resources. That's great. Yeah. That's super smart. <clears throat> oh yeah, Have, uh, having the last action as yeah. um because now it's like nice. none of us can like come in and screw with it. Yeah, there's no way to counter. I guess I, I, yeah, I guess I can. I don't have to. Do, I can. I don't have to think about anything here. Um. Okay. Can I get four? Money? I'm so money starved. Yeah, but oh, AC I... and FARC traditionally run low to the ground. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Because it's your money is not tied to your win condition. The cartels need 40, and I just need so much because my actions are so expensive. Right. So We need enough to keep the lights on, but yeah. we're not. It's not. And extortion gives you so much power. Like As long as you have enough places that you have control in. Yeah, um, or majority in. As long as you have enough troops to mobilize to extort, yeah. it just makes it like hard for me to justify ever doing anything other than rally and extort if I can help it, because they yeah they kind of feed each other. I mean, you may yeah. find yourself in a situation at some point where you where terror is not a bad idea, right? I'm just saying, like, if you ever feel like you need to like keep FARC or government from winning and no one else is doing it, because maybe the cartels are like super fat. Um, then you're going to have to do that. Then you're going to have right. to terrorize. Right. Because the terror for us drives it towards neutrality, yeah. right? Like yeah. support or opposition towards yep. neutrality. There. Yep. 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 Yeah. You're doing, you're doing yourself a favor unless it's already neutral. Right. Right. But it doesn't help your win condition at all. Right. It's just pulling others back. Um, Sorry. I'm still kind of futzing with the interface here. Oh, Every time that, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 that happens to me too. Every time I click on a base, it's like remove the base. Yeah. <clears throat> I think you did it. You did it, and now we're gonna, now we're gonna, as soon as you're done, we're gonna jump to a uh, prop card. So I, I made two piles of corn or whatever that is, and I converted my Amazonas guys into a base, quote unquote corn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Remove shipments or bases for resources. Well, I definitely want to remove the shipments. Right. So now it's asking, yeah. There you right. go. So we are actually going through the prop card. Now we're on right? the prop card. So we already checked victory. It checked sabotage. Now it's going through resources. I already got mine, right? Look at the log. Yep. Like, I got 46. FARC got oh six. Cartels got 33. You got plus drug profits. <laughs> Civic action. Literally a different order of magnitude right. from our. Uh, from so yeah, our it, just, it just skipped civic action because there's no area where I could even buy a civic action, right? But now FARC can do agitation, right? So you can go. How many of us are. Sorry. FARC means anywhere where you have control and it's not already at active opposition. For example, in Cesar La Guavara, yeah. you can like buy, you can agitate twice. Really? Right. Oh yeah, okay. you can do that as many times as you want during the prop card, right? So you just got yourself dangerously close <laughs> to your victory condition. Um, well, so okay, so weird question: if if there are two players that are at a victory condition, whoever is whoever is farther away from the actual, farther away. It's, and it's just okay. integers. It's not there's no there's no waiting or anything, right? Okay. If you're at twenty six and the government's at sixty one, you're tied. Okay. And I don't know what the time is. I feel like uh, I also need to point out that I am at my win con. Yeah, I was going to say, you're way over your win con. You're you at 50. I don't know. So you, need, you need 10 bases, so right, I'm right, right but, at my win. But that won't, be, that won't be checked again until the next prop card. Until yeah. the next prop card. Right, so. Okay. So we got to start um, burning some drug fields. Yeah. Okay, so because it um, wasn't at 60, now you have to remove the FARC zones, which I think is a thing I get to do, which I'm happy about. Interesting. So, goodbye, Fark Zone. And now the AUC gets to free rally. Oh. Right. Elite um, backing. Yeah, you get Amazing. elite backing, which 
I think <sighs> free rally. Ba -da -ba -da. AOC may free rally one space with no opposition, nor government control, nor FARC control. Wow. So it's a lot of restrictions on where you can do this. Free, yeah, so I could build in Santander by Echo, but I'd only get one troop. Though I only have one troop to place. So maybe I make a base. Got a lot of got a lot of places yeah, I, I guess, can make I bases. Guess you can make a base in Arauca, right? You can make a base in that If you make it in Arauca, you oh. can still have someone there to pr pr protect it. <laughs> I could make it in I could make it there, but I could also make it in Bishada, Guania, Amazonas. Amazonas. Yeah, you could do it in a lot of places. Oh wow, you really have a lot of places where you can do it. Yeah. Well that was kind of my last couple rallies was just trying to set up for that yeah this exact question and so the Seems question smart. is where's the best place to put it amazonas less competition or more competition for bases which could be good or bad other people won't try and build there but they might become to try and destroy things the shot is adjacent to my other stuff what's the next card place any three fark pieces into antiochia or an adjacent department any three FARC pieces. Any three FARC pieces. Or an adjacent department. It's not a very desirable place to be placing the pieces, unfortunately. Where's um, where is that? Um, it's in the middle. It's the middle mountain. Um, oh, so yeah. you have three pieces. Oh, so or adjacent, which means you could set, you could put two bases or, in La Guajira, right? Because it's adjacent yep. because of the town. Yep. That's pretty. Well, it, wait, well, wait is. Is is it adjacent because of the town? I'm pretty sure it's adjacent it... because of the town. That's exactly okay. the example in the rule book that I closed now. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I now have to redeploy this freaking troops from Antiochia because I don't have a base there. Ugh. So gross. Let's start putting them here so at least these places are not entirely unprotected. I guess the rest go to... There we go. And now I can redeploy troops and police. But basically, I can only redeploy... Uh, I can redeploy them onto... Oh, I can deploy them into... But it's only... Oh, troops and police? Huh. That's actually pretty good. Because it means that I could put some police here. And some troops. Oh, no, wait. Troops... Yeah. That's the bummer. I can only redeploy troops into other cities. Mm-hmm. So, oh, see, ah, there you go. Now you just saw what happens when you undo. <laughs> right, it's pretty, it's pretty brutal. Well, let's try to at least maintain government control here by putting a ton of police there because I would like to still build a base there because that's the only place I can do that, right? I don't have control anywhere else. I feel like I'm going to mess this up again now, but I don't care. I'm just going to hit done. There we go. Okay. And we are back to normal. But now we know so we have eleven cards left in the deck and we know that the second prop card is in the is in the third pot is it in the fourth no, it's in the fourth pile. So we know it's gonna be in the bottom six cards. So we're potentially relatively close to the game being straight up over. Yep. But Fark, you're up. You get to I think that's strong. I think place if Fark in because I'm pretty sure you, that means you can put two bases in Cesar. Yeah, I, um, I mean, I, go ahead. I gotta, I, my doorbell's ringing, guys. I got to go take that. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Um, while Brian's away, I'm just trying to think about, like, counterplay against cartels since they're so far into their resource, the resource portion of their win con. The, the, the resource portion is going to be, he's going to be using the money anyway, but we can't really, I don't think we can steal the money. We're going to have to get rid of bases. Right. right. Eventually, we're gonna have to get rid of bases, but also okay. you are also close to your win condition, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking in terms of I like mean, you said that distance from the win con. I there's no way I'm gonna be able to be farther. Like he's like 14 ahead. I'm gonna so. eventually get rid of the bases in at least in Medellin, right? Because he has no protection for those at all. Right. Um, um, I don't know when I'm gonna do that because I also have to worry about getting a base out in Antiochia, which just for the record, John, doesn't mean I'm trying to attack you. It means I'm trying to terrorize the air, or not terrorize. I'm trying to buy civic action. <laughs> terrorize. I wish I could. I'm going to try to buy... <laughs> it's, it's, it's a false flag operation. <laughs> I'm going to terror, 
the government's gonna have, has a secret secret terror organization. No, I'm gonna try to buy civic actions in there to sway those two folks into my direction because I feel like I need that to get closer to my victory condition. Um, like if I can't do that, then there's just no way I'm ever gonna get to 61. Yeah. And that will only get me to 60. It won't even get me to 61. I mean, I, I guess really, it, so this card is too, it's too juicy to let go. Like I don't want to remove pieces from the mountain. I mean, it, that's both, I, I, I have two zones that would be in the line of fire for that. So, you know, my my concerns about yeah. the cartel aside, like, I, I think we're just going to have to address those on a, a later turn just because yeah. what's facing me immediately with the event card, I don't really have a choice. I think that's true. I think that's true. So, um, any two, uh, where, where are the bases? Uh, you have one. Or... I got them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And... Place fart piece in. Season. I mean, you are you have now met your victory. You you too have met your victory condition. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. And so I and I still have one more, so I can put an extra gorilla there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that's. Done. I think that's. Yeah, yep. I gotta click on the end event, and then that's that right. goes John to you. Woohoo! Oh, it looks like Brooklyn's <laughs> in the room. Yeah, see, I let's see, let's see, let's see. And the new card is Sequestrados. Fed up with hostage taking. <laughs> pass opposition to passive support. Ooh. Fart Ransoming resources plus profitable. twelve. Wow. Ransoming highly profitable resources plus twelve. <laughs> well, there's I'm nothing I can do with that. Bite of the apple on the the previous one, right? So. I'm not even going to be first oh, to on the next one. That's annoying. They got so many bases, y'all. How do they have so many bases? Yeah, you guys got so you, you just it just made it infinitely harder for you to win, right? You just basically have yep. to you have to go into like open warfare with the FARC. I truly do. Right? Yep. Otherwise uh, you have no chance. So which is the best place <laughs> for me to go and try and that's a good fudge question. up? I don't even know. Um, well, I think that's the difficult part is your your gorillas are so diffuse that trying to figure out... Like, you could go from an, um, Antigua. Antigua, Antigua Boulevard into Cordoba, and you could go two-to-one advantage and try to take a piece there. Um, well, okay, you could go from uh, Huila Tolima into Narno Cauca in the lower left, in yeah. the southwest, because mm -hmm. um, I don't have that base protected. Um, I mean, you can march multiple times, right? So I think you're, I think right. you're looking at you're looking at a potential march, right? Yeah. There's also Valpas. That base is unattended, and you have um, adjacent gorillas that can march from uh, Putuma Putumayo, Sakota, and uh, Guevara. You can also oh. rally. You could at least, if you if you were okay with only one unit being there, which again for attack purposes is not great, right? He does not have to roll the dice. He does have to he? roll the dice. Well, unless you do, unless you use it in conjunction with an ambush. With right? an ambush. Well, an ambush is the spe is the special activity, right? Spe and he so would have ambush. Just means that you pick one of those spaces you're doing the attack in, and that becomes a guaranteed success. You're, like you can ambush with one person and remove two other pieces. Yeah. You but have, I'm not. You have that too, um, Steve. Yeah. Right. I'm not in any spaces with. Fark bases. Well, that's so, what, so you have. I'm, that's what we're saying. You have to get to those. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be a turn of March, yeah. and then potentially a turn. You can't of, compound them into the same turn. No, that's going to. Yeah. That's the problem. And that I will. I will tell you. I have no interest. You may like. I have no interest in attacking your bases in Antiqua, right? I have zero interest in doing that because. And he's got bigger fish to fry. I definitely have bigger fish. To, like I want to get to my victory condition, right? Uh, I don't want to hinder you from getting to yours right now. Okay, so you're marching into Marina. You just got a bunch of cops up in the mountains there. You can't even attack them if you wanted to. 
Yeah, well, I mean, I can't. The cops can't attack anything anyway, right? I mean, they can, but it's not the point. I mean, I, yes, I could do. I could use an entire turn now to do an assault. Base for each troop. No, it's troop. It's troops. Oh, that expose right? them. The police doesn't even do anything, right? The yeah. police is not strong. I need the police for civic actions. That's the. That's why police is needed. Right, because that's one of the threshold conditions to be yeah. able to act up. Yep. I just put six in here so I had control, which mm. I don't even know if that was important, right? I just have so I have like all my cubes out. <laughs> Might as well arrange them to get control while so, I can. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like forget what the point of control is in this game. Like it's it's it's, it's, it's not part of anyone's win con. Is so it? it's not part of the win con, but I need it for civic actions, and Fark ah, right, right. Fark needs it for the insurgent, uh, the thing mm. that the the yeah. um, agitation, right? Yeah. So it's mostly for civic action and agitation. Although there are other things where Fark said where it says you need to have control somewhere in order to do this. I mean, at this yeah. point, since we only have one prop card left, it's effectively irrelevant for me for agitation because I'm it not going to effectively irrelevant for you for agitation. Right. But there like, may I'm I'm I don't know if I'm I don't know because I haven't looked at it, but there may be a couple of other things for which it says requires control but i don't even know if that's true potential tiebreakers or something like that or spaces yeah i'm not even sure that there's anything where you have to have control you know what i'm not sure i'm winning this let's just go uh let's just go all that war <laughs> wow <laughs> six pack yeah that's pretty strong um Oh, and the reason these flipped when they came in there is because the opposition had more than three, right? So this is a thing that we've never really looked at, but if you look at March, moving guerrilla, if destination has support or opposition or is line of communication, and if moving gorilla plus far gorillas plus cubes there exceed three, activate the gorillas, right? So they flip up when they march into a place. That's a proper army. That's not a bunch of uh, gorillas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, hey have a party here wait you just undid that is it are you was i did i realized i should extort was the meta east thing too strong <laughs> no it's great i just wanted to make my money first okay right yeah that makes a lot of sense because they're going to flip up anyway you're right this meta stuff is really triggering me <laughs> it's uh e Unless yeah, I think that Colombia in the nineties, like my memory of Colombia in the nineties, was when that when when the Colombian World Cup soccer player got got assassinated for the own goal. That's my memory of that in the nineties in Germany. I wasn't there wasn't a much awareness of uh, football in Arizona <laughs> when I was a kid in the nineties, so I missed that story apparently. Yeah, no, that happened. That happened. Like one of their star players shot an own goal, and they were doing really good in the tournament up to that point. And uh, yeah, came back home, and two days later, he got shot on the street by the cartels because they didn't like that that happened. So, In their defense, it seems really hard to score an own goal. So maybe you know, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was. Uh, I remember us that happening. We we're just like, man, the world's a rough place. So okay, cartels, what are you what are you doing? Yeah, sequestered drop babado. So yeah, you should definitely give the fark plus twelve. <laughs> I'm thinking about it pretty hard, but I don't want to give you, I, you know, this is one of those things where I don't want to benefit myself in any way, but I just want to like, just regress everything else to the mean as much as possible. Yeah. Well, if you, I mean, I guess I don't have to tell you that if you uh, allow me that card, shift two spaces from neutral or passive opposition to passive support. Is there anywhere where it's neutral and it would benefit me? Eh, I guess I could do Kasanari. <clears throat> Right, because there is no pass. I don't see any place with sap with passive support. Oh, Antiqua. Well, but I want I want to pull that thing over myself. Right, the whole thing with Antiqua is that I wanted to do that on my own. That's why I'm trying to build up stuff there. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. What does a rally look like for me? Yeah, I think I want a rally. And I just want to pick a nice little country with good extradition treaties. 
Uh oh. Here we go. We're not, we're not going anywhere. We're fine. Well, you just rallied in Pasto, right? Well, sure. Well, here's my thinking. All right, so no, no, no. go, go for it. <laughs> no, no, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it, but just here's my thinking. Uh, I'm way out on the win con right now, and but I'm at ten bases, so I expect as we burn through these cards to just get sniped at some point. It's meaning I need a couple backup bases, and well, the best place to put them is in the city because yeah, it's so, so inefficient okay, so for you just, to just, like no, find just, me. Just in case we're now at a point where our eyes are glazing over, your two base. I'm just going to be kind here, right? Your two bases in Medellin are entirely unprotected. Yeah. Oh, that's what I meant to do. Actually, you're right. Yeah. I, I meant to like, actually. I was like, out. yeah, they're just yeah. there's nothing there, right? That's actually, what I meant to do. Yeah. The thing, and again, thinking like, there's no way Steve or John are going to come in to deal with these bases. No, and it would have. I would have. Yeah, you can deal with it, but it's just it's inefficient for you to do. It's it. inefficient for me now. It would not have been inefficient yeah. me with for me without the gorillas. Right. So yeah, and I'm going to just take, I'm going to end at that and leave you with the limo. Ah, Jesus Maybe. Christ. Sorry. Oof. But you shouldn't have stole my drugs. All right. And rally. Oh, never going to see. This is why, this is why I can't win in packs. This is why, uh, this is why I'm considered the threat. <laughs> uh, well, um, I mean, I'm going to be second on the next card. So I have to wonder whether that means that. What? It, 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 AUC resources minus six? AUC. Ah. What? Oh, it's just implicating my Q7. There. There. AUC is oh. two for each space with AUC and cartels. Hard. So you just get a lot of money if you use the event. Yeah. Which is not going to have to. AUC resources minus six. Well, you could do the same thing yeah. and just do the faction op without the special activity so I don't do the event. I have no interest in doing the event. Right? I have no interest in doing that event whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I would just like to have more than just this dumb limob, right? So I'm going to pass. Does feel... I'm going to pass. I'm just, I'm not... I mean, even in my case, since we're in direct opposition, I don't know if that would even get to me, but I I think there are other competing priorities where I'm not really worried about your resources. Yeah, because I always forget if, unless we pass, those bank th three and four icons do not can't to do anything yeah. with this card so just so right. you know i am under no circumstance if you do the full faction op with special activity well if you do the full faction op with special activity i only again only have a limb op or the event right so right. it's kind of kind of shitty for me um you'd have to do the event for me to have any benefit from this and you, the event for you is like not that great mm -hmm. although plus three for your space i mean it'd give you a lot of money you wouldn't have to extort for a really long time Right, and because yeah, you're, you're not interested, I'm, I know that I'm starting to sound like a salesperson here, but you're not really interested in rallying that much, right? So, no. and that, and marching, attacking. I mean, you can, man, you can extort with. Oh wait, you can extort with there's everything. Only, extort. There's only two spaces that have Auk and Cartel, right? Which are what one, two, two. De Mayo and Amazonas. Oh, Auk and Cartel. I was thinking Auk and Farc. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's bad. It's bad so, uh, I basically have to... Yeah, even I have to now say that you probably... Oh, man, but I might have to do Mancuso. I might have to threaten to do Mancuso. <laughs> right? But then you're then what you're going to do is first faction op only. I'm screwed one way or the other. <laughs> What's the next one? Can I pass on... I can just pass, right? What's the next one? Occidental and Echo Petrol. Yeah, I might just pass again. I mean, I think this is a bad move, but I could pass. Give Andy the ability to do a full turn. And prevent, like, give someone else the limb up. I think, well, I think you do. I mean, you're, you're first in turn order right now. Like, I think because you're last on the next card, I think I... I don't think passing for you is a good idea. Yeah, that's true. Like, I think you should do whatever's best for you, anything. and what I'm probably going to do then, if the second thing sucks, is pass, because I'm going to be first on the next card. Yeah, but if you right. pass, then someone else gets the ability to... Mm, no, no, no. It's on... So the only two players right now... Well, okay, I see where... Oh! You if are... you pass, then someone else gets Mancuso. Like... If you don't use it yourself, or if you use the special activity if you don't use the special activity 
then no yeah. one can use the event, right? So that's the situation you find yourself in. Yeah, right? I'm basically, I mean, this is not a surprise. I'm building up to try and do an attack. Yeah. Um, well, which you already, yeah, and you want, <laughs> you kind of want the ambush, right? And the, if you do yeah. the ambush, now you're allowing the next player to do the event. And if I pass, yes, then Fark can do the event. That is true. See, see how good, see how amazing this event system with the sequence of play is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quite good. I'm really curious, like in the um, Colonial Twilight and the uh, British Way series, where it's two player. I know they have a slightly different version. I'm really curious. Like, I haven't if played it's it as yet. Good. Haven't played yeah. it yet, but I've heard very good things about the British Way, which I don't know if um, I think I might try to pick it up to get one coin back into my collection because I, I don't know if you I've can see it. Heard, I'm pointing to yeah, it I think... right now. It's right God, there. It Wait, what? It's right. I'm pointing to it on my camera. I don't know if you if you see the. Feature. Oh, you have it? Yeah, yeah. No, it came like I or I p five hundred it. Oh, right. So wow. it's it's it came yeah. like maybe it came very recently, like maybe not even a week ago. I recently picked up the Twilight Struggle uh, Red Sea, and yeah. it comes with solo mode. It's it's really good. I haven't like, tried uh, that yet. I grabbed that, yeah. but the main reason I grabbed that was once we're out of the being extremely exhausted phase of the of the of our younger child. My plan yeah. is votes for women, Twilight mm -hmm. Struggle, Red Sea, Twilight Struggle, right? Yeah. That's my that's my plan, because uh, my wife saw oh. the map of votes for women and was like, "This looks amazing," and I'm like, it "Looks so good. We should play it." And I got it, and I have this new thing where. I, when I used to get new games, I used to like excitedly rip open the back the package and like unbox it and like bag everything. And now I'm like, I'm not gonna open it until we play it. So yep. it's yeah. all, so it's still on shrink, but yep. it looks really. That's cool. hilarious. Yeah. I'm completely on the same. Those those three games have my focus right now, and I just decided to do Red Sea in four votes for them just because it's like half the price. Right. But because I really enjoyed it, I was like. Oh, like this is making me want to play Twilight Struggle against myself even right now. Like, because it's the full <laughs> thing. It's right. fully Twilight Struggle, just yeah. shorter. Right. Uh, it's great. Yeah, no, I'm so, I grabbed it. It's still right. a shrink. Anyway. On your <laughs> what I want to do here is an option which is not available. I want to do a limited <laughs> operation and then give Andy a full turn. Uh, but that, that is not one of the, the three rows that here. That is not one of the three rows. Um, so I think, like, yeah, because you want me, you want to incentivize that I don't pass. I, I get it. Yeah, the only thing that you will not pass on is essentially if I take the event, right? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah. So, so if add... John, if John passes, does that not give Andy the full? Um, that's true, but it's sort of the like I can pass and be last on the next card. And right. gain one resource, or I can do the event and gain well, six. And I don't want resources right now, but I, I think it's the only thing I can if do. If I do the full, if if John passes and I do the full faction up with special activity, then you still get to do the event. <laughs> the event, right? yeah. So it's not <laughs> exactly you're you are very much between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, because I need this to not get down to Fark. Because if Fark gets Mancuso, I am. You uh, may Fark. need to. You may need to take the hit and do the event. I think I have to. I think it's the only, only well, option. Well, what if I... Okay, let, let's talk this through, though. Because to <laughs> what benefit... What benefit is it going to pose to me in terms of... You're going to nerf him kind of so him. hard if you do Right, but in. where is he... Okay. You're going to nerf him so, so hard. I think right. Steve's saying he might take the limb off, maybe? I don't know. What are you saying, Steve? Sorry. Well, I'm, I'm saying that in term, uh, I'm uh, competing priorities is what I was talking about earlier, right? It's like, yes, I nerf him, but it doesn't really advance. It doesn't really secure my position other than nerfing mm, him. That's not entirely true, because look what's going on in Meta East, right? You want, if, well, you, right. if you can like remove all six of those with one card and put him down to one resource. Yeah, why would you not do that? You know he's going to attack you. I'm basically right. out of the game at that point, like given how many oh, cards we yeah. have. Yeah. But that's, so I'm... Yeah. I'm gonna take this event. I, one, I think you need to take the event. That's fair. No, that's yeah. fair. No, I wanted to talk it through because I'm like, yeah, he's not an immediate threat other than the positioning in in Meta East. Yeah. Yes, and, and that I think these are happen. totally 
synergistic because I, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it is nine John resources. Andy, I must have missed John one. Andy are trailing there. right now. So for John to take a powerful thing and then Andy to get a powerful thing seems like the best. Yeah. Well, the question now is, do I want to do the full thing or do I, what's the thing on the next thing? Place six police onto pipeline three. That's not interesting. Shift a space adjacent to a three by two levels towards active op. <laughs> 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 well, here's the thing. I don't <clears throat> want, I don't want that to go to, I think I have to pass here. I do, I under no circumstances do I want that to go to you. So I have to pass here. Like that's okay. terrible for me, right? So yeah, I'm passing. There you go. And what are you gonna do, take the limo? I'm gonna have, well, I'm gonna pass. So on the next one, I either take the card or the faction op only. I just can't. But he allow, guarantees. He I, guarantees sequence. I can't it. allow uh, Steve to be able to do shift a space adjacent to three econ by two levels. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, right. So he has to close out that line of play for me. So yeah. that's why he has to pass. Yeah. Which sucks, but that's what I have to do. Okay. Right. So, and then I can't. So, Mancus has already been taken for the event. So, I yeah. don't have that. I have. No, um, I have I'm operation special, plus special. Or yeah. you pass. Got the value meal. You got the big, big meal. Yeah, but my guess is that you're not gonna. Uh, yeah, I definitely have to. That card is just too terrible for me. Right. So. The question now becomes. So, looking through the options for. So special activities for FARC are extort, ambush, and kidnap. Kidnap would take resources from government or cartels. The accompanying op is terror. I'm trying to work my way backwards from the special activities here. Yeah. So there's, each there's, piece... There's no I think whatever you want to do, you actually want to do it next turn, right? Because... If it, Andy has to take the event, so you're just going to get op and special activity again, but with an extra resource and going after him to possibly undo whatever he does with that. Oh, and so, okay, so I guess that's, now that's a good point, right? Because, like, if I don't, if I take this action now, it guarantees that you get the full, because you would be third, but I would not be eligible, right? So no, when we get to... Eligible. But keep in mind, like, I'm, so if you pass... My very likely thing to do is to just take the first faction up, which gives you a limb up. Oh, I forgot about that. My bad. Yeah, good point. Yeah, true. I'm not going to allow you to take the event under any circumstances. I'm going to block that event super hard, right? Yeah. So I think you need to take yeah, the second that's true. faction up, right? Right. So, yeah, so the kidnap each space, government, if city or line of communication or cartels, if, wow, the parsing of the sentence, if cartel's base <laughs> transfer to FARC, to FARC a shipment. That just makes FARC sound like a verb, and, and that's <laughs> fantastic. Oh, um, a little piece of trivia. The game was supposed to be called FARC before it was called Andy and Abyss. <laughs> okay. Why'd they okay. change it? FARC. Oh, I think someone was like, someone, I, I forget the story, but there was someone, like, that was just like Volker saying, like, yeah, it was supposed to be called FARC, but then someone's like, no one knows what that means or something like that, right? Okay. I also didn't know the Andes were in Colombia, so that's not, that's on me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so the kidnap, the, the kidnap is only it looks like only economic benefit, right? So to transfer to FARC a shipment or a die rolls resources. Yeah. So I don't take, govern, take resources from government or cartels. That's basically the purpose. Okay. You can always look at the purpose, but, right? Yes. Like, right. Like, okay. Do you so, need resources? Eh, you're at right. eight. You're not. You're not. AUC is now stocked up significantly, but. You know, you'll see. Right. So, I, I mean, it's still more about, I think, trying to put exert some pressure on uh, probably the cartels, like, to, to try and bring them back down since we're both at win condition. I still want to try to have a better shot at that. So, yeah. um, so well, ambush is... You're both ahead. at win condition. Oh, yeah. And also, like, the lower of the margins counts for the cartels. So right now you are literally tied, right? Because even though the cartels has a lot of money, the margin of oh. the, the bases is lower, right? That's so, a good clarification because I was so, I was playing against the full like yeah, you know here, twelve. Like, so was I. <laughs> yeah. uh, after final propaganda, it's here. Cartels take the lower of the following: cartels bases okay. minus ten or cartels resources minus forty. Right? Okay. Wow. Okay. So. So. Yeah. 
So there's real benefit in trying to to push him off that that win con then for sure. So, yeah. so for me, it's total okay. score minus sixty. For you, it's whatever you have minus twenty five, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Okay. So the so the ambush as a special activity is only available for attack. It doesn't it doesn't stack up with any of the other insurgent ops. So, is there value in ambushing anywhere to guarantee success? I mean, do you I... have? I mean, if you want to ambush in Guaviare, but um, that will only remove the two uh, gorillas, right? Yeah, that won't. You could ambush. Won't... You could do it in Meta East to remove that solo base, which would incidentally also give you another base space. Yes. Um, you right. Could ambush... Meta West, I don't. Meta West, I've already got a six pack there, so I don't know that I'm worrying about because it rolls right. against the grill account, right? So that right. there's not yep, value yep, in yep. doing that. Yeah, but I think yeah, I mean, if you want to pull the cartels back, then I think for you, the thing you would do now is use the full faction op with the ambush with an attack, right? Well, so and the okay, so in Huila Toloma, the for the southeast yeah. mountain region. Yeah, you'd roll and so you'd need a four or less, and then you could remove two gorillas. If I did an ambush there, you could still only remove two gorillas. You could still you still only remove two. Yeah. Okay. I'll remove two enemy pieces. Okay. Like Got I don't it. think so you can stack. I don't think you can stack attack and ambush on the same spot. I don't think that's how right. It works. I, I, the the uh, the number of gorillas only stacks towards success. It doesn't stack towards efficacy of the attack. Like once once you get it. No, you know, I don't think so. I mean, I'd be Got surprised, it. right? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not seeing it. So so no. no the the meta east. Um. Yeah. So I mean, we're gonna have to attack no matter what because I yeah. think I want to take advantage of the ambush. Um. Can mm, it doesn't give me an option to ambush though. Um, so if I go to wait, attack, what? well, wait. So uh, the amp, keep keep in mind the ambush, the company location, attack space, and attack space. So once you decide to attack somewhere, you can convert oh, it into it'll... an ambush. Okay, so so UI quirk and rally the troops. So I have to choose Meta East, yeah. and the I see, and then ambush. Yeah. Okay. And then it's a guaranteed then... success. And then it's a guaranteed success. And then you also get another gorilla there. Right. And now any other place you attack in is going to be the normal die roll. Mm. Right? Oh, Which I can you... remove. And, and actually, I removed two enemy pieces. So I removed the base, and I can also um, remove yeah. one of yes, the yes, yes. gorillas there. But I think you should not stop there. But that's up no. to you to decide. But no, don't, I... don't listen to me. I'm the person who's I'm the big spender here. <laughs> <laughs> um we just got to figure out where... That said, you can always extort, right? Like, you and the AUC can always run extortions, so... Um, so, Meta West, we want to go ahead and roll to attack. Yeah, that's going to so, be a joke roll. That's a six. That's a guaranteed yeah. win. So, just go ahead and take those. Um, I think we want to roll in uh, Huila Toloma. Yeah, just... <clears throat> the, only I... thing you need, the only thing you need to remember... Is that it does expose all your, like all of your dudes. It does. Right. It does. Uh huh. Um, so it's but it's sort of a question of. Everyone's really to... whispering in your ear right now. It's just saying. Uh -huh. uh, I love this. <laughs> it's my favorite thing in the world. It's like uh huh uh huh. Um. Oh well. Okay. Look at this. So. <clears throat> I rolled yeah, a yeah, six. no, no, no. You just that's yeah. welcome to randomness, right? There was yeah. a one in three chance that it would fail, and it failed. And it failed. Uh, and now you can, if you could, if only we were doing this with video, because if you could see Steve's face, <laughs> sorry, Brian's face right <laughs> now, it would be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, mm, okay. So I only have like, five resources. I'm, just, I'm laughing at the emergent narrative of like That's the so FARC, funny. like, you know, <laughs> getting strategic advice from the government, who they're ostensibly, you know, direct opposition to, but. And it kind of working out like it's all the help they can get against the in the war on drugs, right? right. Like uh, sometimes you just have to make strange bedfellows, you know. They know Fark was straight edge, but okay. <laughs> so here's what happened to me in my other quick start game because I was like, ah, oh, damn, that didn't work. I kept on like I definitely went on tilt, and then that then what I would have done now, which I'm gonna tell you not to do, is I would have continued rolling in like Kaketa and Guavar Guaviari, even though the odds yeah. are against me, right? And of course, of course, I lost them both. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was I, I was sort of weighing that, but I'm like, I really don't know the value. 
Like, well, you know exactly. You have a one in three chance to remove two gorillas on each of those. Do you want well, that? Or, right. it, yeah. Is is the juice worth the is the juice worth the squeeze? I don't think so. Probably right. Not. Like I want. Especially given how you know, if I do a Nevsky roll and do another round of sixes again, like I'm good. Yeah. Um, no, you don't so, I think, I think we're generally done. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like Casanare and Cordoba, if I want to push back out at this point, but I think I want to yeah. save my resources for something I'll else. Move along, because I think my next turn is going to be pretty automatic, right? Yep. Um, yeah. Go for it. Because I don't want to do this, which means the only thing I can do without, uh, <laughs> without my friends from the cartel hugging me. Lord help me. <laughs> like this national coordination center is just another like, hey John, do you did you have plans? No, you're you're doing this event now. I'm just like, I'm just like, I can't do this, right? Like, I have to do just the first faction up, which is painful. It's actually painful for me. Yeah. Right? Like, I can't train. I have to actually sweep. But sweep isn't... Wait, yeah, I have to sweep, because what I want to do now is get people into here and various other places. Yeah, let's just do sweep, because I think that's all that's going to happen, right? I take it back. I think National Coordination Center maybe doesn't affect me, because it's only spaces with cubes or support. Okay, so select and only active. sweep, select cities and departments. This one, move troops into Bogota. Oh, oh no, right. You're, mm, it's not like you didn't already say this, right? I want to actually move them from into here. Three. Uh, where am I going to take them from here? These are all adjacent. That's actually kind of nice. I mean, this is a lot. I think I'm going a little bit overboard here right now. Um, next, so is there any place else that makes sense for me to sweep into? Because hmm. it's only troops, right? I can't, this is the part where I can't actually move police. Where else do I care? So you guys are taking it out in Meta East, which is annoying, but I think I'm going to sweep into Cordoba. I think I'm gonna, or that already has two bases. Ugh. Every place already has two bases. Wait, no, this doesn't have two bases. Santander's empty. Santander. Literally no bases there. Where's Santander? Santander Bayaka, to, to the right of Antioca Boulevard. It's true, but I already have active support there. Right? So I'm ah, trying right. to find a place to put a base where it makes sense for me to push the, push the envelope. So I'm Araka? Gonna try, I'm going to try Araka, yeah. I'm going to go to Araka. Although I can't really put a whole lot in there. Ugh, this is gross, but whatever. So it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm just going to do it all do it all in there. Okay. And now I can activate five gorillas. <laughs> I don't want to activate five. I'm going to activate two. Let's see. Is there any place else where I could actually do something in terms of... I mean, I guess I can sweep into here too. Why not? Why not? Yeah, let's just do that. Next. There's a troops, not police. It's yeah, just troops, police and right. cities. Okay. Sweep. I think that's as far as I'm going to go with this. Right. Well, let's do the sweep into here as well. Why not? And then I'm going to flip these two. And so now I can't do, I have to stop because I can't, as much as I'd love to do. The next thing, that's not happening. So I'm going to just end sweep. There we go. And well, I'll go get some water. I'll be back in a second. Stuck with my lousy limb off and I can't pass. So. Uh, we can rule out terror, I think. Right. I don't know. Yeah, terror doesn't for support or economic activity. I don't know that there that really buys you. I don't really want to activate my gorillas, so we're gonna probably rally or march. Mm -hmm. Oh, that Andy Sweet messed up my plans. Good. God damn. All right, I think we're gonna 
I'm gonna rally. Ah, man, placing one piece is my entire action is crazy. But I don't have a lot of choice here. I just gotta do yeah. it. Yeah, the limited op in this context really sort of hamstrings what you can do. I just, I need to, I haven't really internalized why I can only rally one troop into Amazonas. Oh, god, yeah. No, Andy's turn really screwed me. Ah. Also, up to pop. Oh, because the population. There's zero. Oh, I see. Oh, these like far off spaces are like zero pop, so it's it's hard yes. to like put too many troops around them. Yeah, you can hide in them, but you can't. Yeah, well, that's interesting then. I did that. It's just hard to make a base, too. All right. Well, I think I just need to beef up Amazonas a little bit then. Yeah. How do I have... I see. Okay. All right. Got it. You're doing a lot. Yes. I mean, because if I pass, I don't even go the next turn. So right. like, I have to do it. Yeah. What is the next? I put a I put another guy down on Amazonas. All right, I'm done. Uh, John's up. Well, no. Andy's last turn made the National Coordination Center suddenly very dangerous to me. Because mm. um, you just swept up a bunch of my dudes mm. and put them in spaces with cubes. All AUC gorillas in spaces with cubes. Yeah. Support to underground. Yeah, so I, I think I just have to go underground. Um, or... Oh, yeah, you can't let, you can't let Fark have that. Yeah, exactly. So, um, hey, I'm doing the event again. Although, let's just look at the next one. No, this is all cartel, so... Oh, wait, with Q... Wait, one second. Remove all active AUC gorillas from up to three spaces with cubes or support. Or Where, support. Where's yeah. cubes... Where do I have cubes or support? With your Choco, activity. Cordoba, and you, you just swept out into uh, oh. into the whole left side of the map. Oh, I, the it had no side. effect on me, and then you were like, where else should I sweep? Well, I, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> I, just... see, I see what you're saying. I'm yeah, being very good. ambitious with that, because I wanted to see if I could in the future have some more bases, basically. Right? Uh, so fortunately, I have some, uh, some, some far-right sympathizers inside the National Coordination Center. Who would have guessed? <laughs> <laughs> Infiltration in the government? Really? Uh. So now you're going to flip. Do you flip every all in spaces with cubes to underground? Okay, God, yeah. I'm putting all those underground so, again. I'm yeah, basically... I, I, didn't, that, I mean, I didn't sweep into there to expose you, to be clear, right? I swept no, into no, there. no, no. I swept in there because I wanted to put. I wanted to have like options for future bases. I, I realize it's an unhappy, uh, unhappy circumstance, but it does mean I have to spend yeah, my whole turn I'm basically sorry. compensating I'm for that. Sorry. So that... I don't get blown up. Uh, uh, is the government really sorry, though? Is I mean, it? <laughs> see, again, again, with the, like, see how easy it is to paint a target on my head? I have so <laughs> much money, y'all. I just want to spend my money. <laughs> you are very wealthy for a, for an insurgent faction. This is true. Okay, I'm just going to so... pull a Tropico and dump it all in my Swiss bank account. Yeah. <laughs> Also, I will point out we're at seven cards left. So the second this next one flips, any card after that could be the end of could the game. Could be the problem. Yeah. Yeah. So. What, wait, sorry. Yeah. What happened that put Uribe in uh, in as El Presente? Where did that happen? That was sorry. the that was the last prop card. He he switched over. Um, I don't remember. What the happened to the prop? Oh, oh I see. I see. I see. Okay, I missed that. All right, thanks. Yeah. You know, Blackhawks and Tapias. I haven't made. I feel like I've made z almost zero use of that. Almost zero use. I don't know that the opportunity has really presented itself. Yeah. I think I we've been playing I the airlifted a bunch of people. Cards. I airlifted a bunch of people for absolutely no effect. <laughs> right. Because then I spent down for also zero reason. Well, zero reason. Now I got to sweep a lot, right? So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see whether that was zero reason or not. It's the psychological show of force. You know, I mean, I, I can't just. I mean, yeah, no. Yeah. Partly, partly sarcastic and partly serious. Like it's knowing you have the capability, sort of suppresses things people would do because true. you can just it's true. pour cubes wherever you feel like it. 
that's true. But at yeah. this point, I mean, keep in mind, I always have to sweep first. Um, I guess I could have gone into Meta East and like really messed stuff up. Oh yeah. Right. But I don't. Anyway, but... Did, you're, you, you're, y'all already have that covered in Meta East. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I feel like. Um... I feel like that's also on point, right? If the government sees insurgents fighting, like infighting, they're going to just be like, sure. Let yeah. them fight. No, stop, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, I mean, I, I still feel like kind of pedal to the metal, push exerting pressure on cartels is still... Well, I mean, cartels are still basically, you guys are tied. Yeah. For the win, right now, you're tied for the win. No, I'm, not, I'm not even in my win con anymore. What? No, yes, you, you are. Windcrime's right. base is greater than 10. Base is greater than 10. Oh, it's true. Base can is just greater than 10. It's true. It's yeah, true. You're not right. you ignore me. Were you ever at 11? I was. Yeah, he was. Oh, yeah, until, okay. Until I thought, last mm, okay, my bad. My bad. I thought it was 10. Okay. It's true. It's greater so, than 10. Okay. So then, so now instead, of, okay. So no, this is good to clarify, though, because I was treating it as like greater than or equal. So I thought you were still there. So now. It's more about defending my win con for the next prop card whenever pretty that much, comes around. Pretty much. So who who stands to damage me the most in regards to this? Um, I mean, the bases are the most immediate point of attack, I think, for let's see. Where am I How can I most how can I most Homer Simpson back into the bushes? <laughs> 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 You just uh -huh. Homer Simpson like twelve soldiers out of the bushes. Like, yeah. it's a little late. For that. It's a little late for yeah. that, right? Like it's. I mean, it is in the forest, so maybe I can like. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> You're just there to provide training to the Fork Rebels. Yeah, I just want to. It's just for fun. You know, it's yeah, just all in good, all in good faith. The ones in Naruno are just at, actually at the beach. They're not even in the forest. They're just on shore leave. Yeah, I mean, also AUC is going to have to take care. I mean. Yeah, John. You're obviously you, you're. It's in your interest to get rid of Fark bases, which will bring. I do yeah, love will, getting rid of Fark bases, yeah, which will bring, which hopefully will bring uh, Steve back to his senses. <laughs> mm, mm. <laughs> Carefully chosen phrase there. I see. Um, um, yeah, I mean, okay, so. So Meta East, if I want to to fight against Ark, I guess like in terms of the the government part of this, I'm trying to even see where I would even mount an attack if I was going to do attack. I guess I could also so terror here would be to neutralize support, but that requires underground. Yeah. And I don't know that I have anybody. Uh, I don't know that I I can really pull that lever anywhere. I mean, you can, um, you can, you can rally. Wait, you can't. I keep on forgetting that you can't rally. You can only rally without support, right? So you can't rally into. Yeah. Unlike insurgents, right? You can't just rally into cities. Oh, right. Sorry, unlike unlike AUC, you can't just rally into Bogota. Like you have to like go there. Yes. Right. <coughs> So, does that basically leave me at a point where I have to attack? I don't know that I'm seeing any other lines of play that really jump yeah, out. Probably have to attack. So, well, actually, hold on. If I rally into, I can rally into Cordoba to better protect those bases because I only have one gorilla there now. That is one thing that I can do. Um, in terms of protecting the bases, I can also put in Valpus. Um, I can put in Calc. Actually, maybe that's the thing, because I do have a few bases that are kind of sitting out there a little juicier than I would like. So... Yeah, like Calcas. Calca. Yeah, like, yeah. That one's bad. And Cordova's rally... not great either, but Calca is particularly bad. Right. Rally... It's special activity that's associated with that is uh, so, is extort. So yeah. I could go ahead and extort. Carefully, to... you don't. I don't think you have a whole lot of play. Do you need to have control where you extort? 
Um, I could do it in Cesar uh, La, Gua La Guajira up top. Um, right. that's the only place that I can extort. Yeah. Right now, I have that unchallenged for now. Right. Um, I mean, I might as well, mm. might as well take it. That's the only place that I can do it. But there's no reason not to to pull that lever. I think. I mean, the question so then, is, could you, have, could you have deployed more to be able to extort in more places before you did extort? Because you have a ton in your in your Far Gorilla resource box. I do. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have a I have a full six pack there. Um, yeah, you could have definitely gotten control in Medi East by adding two gorillas there. Or one would have already gotten you control in Medi East. They would already put it. Yeah, because the yeah. base counts. So all I'm key. saying is, like, you might want to. I don't know why I'm helping you anymore, but you might want to consider <laughs> rallying before you extort if you want more money. I mean, I guess, and and we should still be able to interleave, right? Like, yes. I still could yes. go ahead and... you can 100% okay. interleave. Like, you can start putting stuff out and then extort and then keep on putting stuff out. Right. Yeah. Okay, so then putting it there and then extort. So take that... If you extort, put one dude here. in Valpes, you could extort there too. Like, there's a bunch of places you could still extort if you put gorillas down. Now, they're just going to yeah. basically, they're going to break even, right? Costs you want to put them down, then you extort. But then you have them out. Yeah, at least yeah. they're out. Like, you're correct that the the gorilla pool is something that I'm not taking advantage of here. So Yeah, it's f basically um, free, and you have them out, and they're protecting the base there. Again, what am I doing here? Right. This is the insurgent equivalent of the and yeah. then we have it meme. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just like, what am I wait, what? It's like I'm inviting you to the table and being like, you know, uh, if I were you, I'd protect that base down there. It'd be a shame if something yeah. happened, right? It would be a, it sure would be a shame yeah. if that if something <laughs> unfortunate happened there. Um, okay, so then we rally, um, can place uh, three gorillas, and I think that's actually. I definitely want at least one to keep from one turn taking out a base outright. Um, that is the one part where now that I'm feeling the pinch from the gorilla because I can only deploy, I can only rally in so many places um, with so many troops. So, right. but but I think I think if I put one there, and then put two in front of Kauka. That empties out the pool, but at least now it's gonna. You're not gonna be able to take a base outright without some sort of um, basic team attack right. with Alk. Which, hey, <laughs> it's in it's in the air. It's possible. keep in mind that in forests, my uh, attack is significantly less effective, right? So in mm. forest, oh no, is it mountains? No, it's mountains. Sorry. Okay. One piece I didn't one realize one that there were two. locational bonuses yeah. or impacts mountains that. are things where I don't re where I don't remove one to one. Okay. Can I? I can't deploy any. I can't rally anywhere else. So I would have to cash in for a base somewhere to be able to get gorillas back to do anything. And I don't have any places where I can do that. So I think we'll end rally, and take it to cartels. Okay. Well, I absolutely, under no circumstances, going to let someone play this card. So it's either card or limb op. And or um, card or op. Really, you have to ask yourself whether I would even want that, right? I know, I know that pulls you away from here, but you don't have your win condition right now, and I really have more important stuff to do. That said, of course, if you do the full Monty, then I all I, then I all I can do is stupid limb up. Right? I mean, it's just like an unrecoverable. That that's that's so much work undone by that card. Like, well, if yeah. you do that, then you're leaving me with the limb up, and that's literally all I can do, right? Because I'm not going to be eligible on the next card, so passing makes no sense. Wait, will I? Wait, what I is will going be on? Eligible. I will be eligible if I pass. Yeah. <sighs> What, what was it, dude? Place an AC gun in base in any department. Oh, that's actually good for you. Yeah, you might. It's not uh, bad. It's no, not great. Might, well, it's not great, but you might do yeah. it so that I don't do the other thing, and then I'd get the full yeah. up and special activity, which is what I would like. I'm getting tempted to pass myself. For the the yeah. permanently 
so in blocks permanently. So does that remove it from the board? They don't even return to the pool? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't return them from the board. I think it, it re removes them from my pool. Yeah. Oh, so it no, shrinks my pool. Available. I see. Yeah, okay. it shrinks the pool. I see. Okay. Three available, but there are... Oh, yeah. Three of those would actually go out of the three pool. Three of those would go out. That's okay, I see. Brutal. Which brutal. isn't great, but getting, getting my last base out is probably pretty good, so... Yeah. I was gonna say, like, if we consider like the map active board state versus the the pools as passive, like you're not really playing to the active board state at that point, right? I, right. I don't know that there's. It feels too late in the game for that to be yeah. helpful for someone to do. Okay, all right, so, I'm, gonna take, I'm gonna just take the op. So green just got win win con. Now they're tied. They're right. sneaky. Okay, so sneaky now cartels. I can do the lim op, or I can pass. You're going to be first eligible. I don't have any interest in removing your gorillas or having you do the... Uh, uh, I might as well do the freaking limb op. Like, why not? Let's do the limb op. What do I do here? I think I start pulling Antigua Bolivar in my direction with training. I think that's what I do. Kind of disappointing, but I think that's basically what's going to happen here. Uh, base. I can build a base here. Oh, it's base or civic action. Right? Like, why did you not? Why? Why do you not pass, Andy? Because I don't think I'm going to get anything better on the next card, right? I think. I don't think John will take the event. John will take the event, and then do you think John will take the event? I don't know, honestly. John, do you think you take the event on the next card? Um, yeah, probably. To be honest. Okay, in that case, I'll pass. In that case, I'll pass. Darien, arms traffic. Does taking. take John? Does taking the event get you closer to your win con? Since right now, no matter how many bases you have, like because of the number of bases I have on the board. Like, does that advance you as much as other actions might do? I can't believe I'm saying this out loud. I think it probably does. I don't think I can hit Wincon without getting my last base out. Yeah, and this seems so, like yeah. the fastest way. Yeah. Okay. I guess I could rally. I know Amazonas has a cartel, so I'd have to remove that. Yeah. Frankly, if I'm removing bases at this point, they have to be FARC bases. Um, so I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna keep us moving. I've, 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 I'm feeling okay about it. I'm gonna take the event. I'm not gonna overthink it. Uh, wait. Let's look at the other event real quick. Remove a faction a gorilla from Choco. It's faction with minus five resources. Okay, wow. that could hit me. Uh, place one to do bases in Panama. There's zero population forest. Sweet does not. I mean, wow. if only I had one to two bases in Panama, just chilling off the board. Yeah, no, that card's good. Oh, I don't want. Card is good, and, and I don't want Fark to have that. Well, Fark's not going to get it because I'm not gonna get it. because you 100% know that that uh, this is starting to look very much like a cartel win. Cause, yeah, because this is going to be rough, right? Yeah, like one because. The person who's going to get that is 100% Steve. Oh, the cartel, yeah. Oh, yeah. And no, maybe I, if the government hadn't been, been so hostile to my enterprise, I wouldn't be forced so we gotta, to get off. We're going to start burning down, uh, <laughs> burning down weed farms over here. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you you do have eradicate government. You've not yet just, like, sprayed these crops That's from the true. air. I haven't done eradicate. I'm going to probably have to do eradicate. Mm. Okay, I'm going to Volpe's lovely rural real estate. Sure. Okay, so what does eradicate pair with? Uh, anyone? Okay, destroy anyone from remove all cartel bases there. Shift that in Jason part one level toward active opposition. Which ones would I want to shift towards active opposition? Oh, looks like eradicate pairs with everything. Yeah. Wait, what? 
Oh, yeah, but I, I put push one towards active opposition. That's a no well, I can do one that already has four. They're all they're all at active opposition, and Amazonas doesn't even have population. I guess it doesn't help you. Well, either way, it's a no op. Well, the question is, what does it pair with? I didn't necessarily look at that. Eradicate, <clears throat> uh, train, any, any, anything. Yeah, it goes with any any of them. It pairs up with. <sighs> well, I think in that case, I'm going to train. Oh, interesting. If there's no up, if you can't move towards active opposition, it places a fart gorilla. That's fine. So I guess I'll do Putomayo. Eradicate plus four aid. Whatever. I like that destroying the drugs radicalizes more leftists. <laughs> um, select state department, place cube. Oh, so the question now is, do I want to do any more of that? No. I feel like I'm overlooking something here right now. I think. Do I want to move anything into Bogota? Yeah, let's just do, oh, that cost me a lot of, well, whatever, let's do it. Just want to make sure that I can do that if I really need to. And then I think I'm going to buy a civic action right here. Mm. There we go. All right. Let's play some bases in Panama. Which immediately puts you back to your win con. Soldados Campesinos, yeah. another ALK favoring event. Uh, I mean, I'd, I'd say this is a police favoring event. I get to go first, but right. Well, yeah, I, I guess yes. Swap swapping three cops for uh... doesn't seem that strong. It's a pretty pretty womp womp event overall. Yeah, it's a pretty womp womp event exactly. Darien is amazing. That two Panama bases is fantastic. I had that on my that last is... game where I won as cartels plus AUC. It's a miracle that card. I'm surprised that Darien made it to me. Um, I was expecting to be. I, I didn't. Was I took it. To be cooked. Yeah. Well, you can't. You, it. It, you can't use Darien anymore. You can. Do oh it. yeah. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Sorry, I misread that. It really should like X the card out or something. Like yeah. The yes, it should. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Well, you okay. shouldn't be able. At, le at the very least, you should not see like highlighted text on the Darien card that you could click. Right. You're not. You won't be able to use. I it. guess. I guess what I was wondering about Darien is I was expecting to get be hit with the, the top side of that because that would totally have emptied me out. So I couldn't counterplay yeah, anything. Yeah, but that wouldn't have, but obviously it was more in the interest of, of uh, Brian to get the wimp, get back to win condition. Getting two get bases. Back to on the bases. Like, you needed like the bases. Four turns for you right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah no, that's true. That's all true. Okay. Okay. So. Wow. I don't even, I don't even know. At this point, um, I guess continue I mean, to try to. You guys are once again. You are tied. I think. Yeah. Right. I mean, go ahead and, and attack for Meta West and get that base off the board. Um. And maybe take a swing at uh, Tolima. I mean, you definitely have to attack, right? Yeah, I, well, yeah, I definitely have to. So it's just a question of how how far do we push? Well, let's let's do the meta west. Yeah, just, do, not... just do it. Like you need to get. Yeah. We need to get rolling. Um, well, so, then someone has to take care of you. <laughs> yeah. So place place a gorilla. Well, because you rolled a one. Okay. One, two, any pieces. Okay. Um. And. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a swing at Tolima. There you go. Okay. Worked that time. Slowly but surely. I don't know. Um, I don't see where else. I think that's it. Unless I want to... No, I only have two, so I have to be a little more thoughtful in 
Actually, I probably should have extorted. I can extort again. Um, I can do that now. It doesn't really matter. So let's extort that. Um, I can extort on Meta East as well. Um, I can re-extort on Meta West too. Um, once Rally the Troops reconnects. Yeah, I just see it there also. Like, there we go. Um, let's refresh there it. There we go. Yep, we're good. Okay, and extort. Uh, and attack. Okay, Alex, it's to you. Oh, propaganda. Yeah. This is, uh, this is it. Shit. This is yeah, it. It's happening. This is it. So this is you. Oh, so, you get, spice. so you get an action, so and wins. I get an action. And so Unless something happens, wow. it's kingmaking. Uh, um, well, can we? Is there okay. anything we can do to pull Steve back? That's the question. Is there anything we can do to pull Steve back? So obviously, AUC's interest is to get rid of AUC bases. Is that all possible anywhere? I'm. I think I'm about to fuck up some Farg. Uh, Pat, where? <laughs> well, well, vote Valpes. You can definitely do it. I think I can assassinate one. people, right? Ooh, in up to three nice. spaces selected for terror where I exceed police. It's true. And police are not really doing much. Nah, police, I'm not very active with the police. <laughs> <laughs> but I think what that means is the cartels are going to win. Right? Cause the yeah. cartels Wait, win I can way. only... Well, if I unless I take care of the cartels in some way, shape, or form, but I don't even know if I can do that right now. I don't know if I have... Uh, one resource per city to do. Well, what was the government win con again? Like, um, well, my I'm look at my total support. I'm like three away from. Yeah, right? it's gonna be. This is gonna be very close. This is still gonna be. I think this yeah. is gonna be very close. And I'm not gonna do the. I'm not gonna do the math now. I'm just gonna try to pull people away from their win con. Yep. And maybe bring mine up, but I don't think I can do both. I think I can only do one of both. Also depends on what you do and whether you even leave me with a special action. Because if you don't, then I can't actually take out any any because i'm not yeah i can't take out in medellin because there's only two well wait maybe i could no i can't because i'd have to sweep first yeah it's not gonna happen. okay i'm very confused by my ui here what do you what are you trying so, to do i want to terrorize choco cordoba uh choco nanino calca and volpez uh well you just click terror and then you should be able to flip. Like, I think you could click Terror, and then you have to go... If I s select a place, then it says Activate a Grill. Yeah. So, so I do that, and then it says Terror is done. End Terror. Well, that's given me the opportunity where, to do where more did, Terror. Where did you do it? Oh. Valpes, in this case. You did it in Valpes. Yep. Yeah. So then, will End Terror then allow me to do more Terror? <sighs> you know what? Do you terror do you not have an option for Cordoba? Let's be careful about this. Spaces once resource per city activate one under God. Like, I can share my screen if we want, it'll be. Uh, yeah, I feel like I should be able to do terrorize multiple places. Yeah, I mean, you can share yeah, your screen yeah. on Discord and we'll figure it out. But I think I know what you mean, and I think I ran into that too, and I was really frightened that it would end it. Because it does use the word end. end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that usually, oh. and yeah, that seems ominous with Rally the Troops. You, it, it feels like you should be able to do it and in Cordoba turn. and Calca. I think so. So let's let's try Cordoba. You want Activate me to, to gorilla. look at the source code really quick? <laughs> yeah. And then my only option is Terror done and Terror. Because you should be able to terrorize in more than one spot, right? You're not I, doing yeah. I mean, it should work, right? I, I think rules wise it should. If it yeah. doesn't, I'm not winning this thing anyway. Yeah. So I guess I mean, if it doesn't, then whatever. Fine. Because my plan is basically to try and assassinate three bases, right? And get to um, Zero, yeah, five to six. So I'll be see. I'll be just about in there. I mean, it's tr I mean I don't know what to say. Anyone have a take on this? Because I'm like, I don't see any other option. I mean, can yeah. you still can you? Are there no? There's nothing highlighted. It doesn't look like anything's interactable. I I, no. I would hope that if you do an in terror, you can undo out. I, it would just be the big undo. You might have to re yeah. terror again, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I try. I'm not seeing anything jumping out. No, just try. It. Right, we're doing it. Oh, there we terror. Go. Oh, oh it's because aid cut by minus three, so now I have to go up and cut my aid. 
Oh, right. so it, there's a there's an additional there's interaction an addition, that yeah, I have just to just click on my for. aid, and now you can still wait. What? No. Oh crap. What? That doesn't. So why did that? Okay. Oh, it's probably it's it's one of these um, if final player ops limited and no oh, sweep of marsh. It's is. the final propaganda. It is. It is. Wah, wah. Sorry, I forgot about yeah. If the, yeah, at the final, I aren't even getting another turn, right? The final propaganda. This, card, there's only so much. You this can do. changes nothing. Like ultimately, that just meant I I couldn't terrorize, well, and here, so here's the beautiful thing. All I can do is a limb op. So what do I do here? I think what I do is I just get myself into contention, which I think means that I have to do just a, and I can't do a civic. Well, wait, no, I can train and do a civic action because I think I can, yeah. I think I can train and do a civic action here, right? Civic action here, which gets me to also one away from my win condition, the same as two other people, right? And I think that's it. Yep. End train. So we st we're still going to go through the full, it's not like it ends now. We're still going through the full propaganda card, which could still yeah. potentially change things, oh. right? Oh. Right. Well, it's we're we're already at AUC, we're already at AUC elite backing, so it turns yes. out we can't do. I guess we can't. We, there was no oppor. What agitation, that means is there was no, no opportunity to do agitation or civil civic actions. It just skips it yep. if there's no opportunity. Yep. So you can do elite backing. I can technically place people in Panama Wait. now. Sorry, 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 sorry. Why is why is John going right now? Because everything else already happened, right? So resources. Where there were no there were no decisions to be made. You have no shipments. Oh, we're, I see. Right. We're not doing. We're still we're still no, running we're through propaganda. the propaganda guard, right? We're and, still and in support. There would have been civic action and agitation. Okay, redeploy yeah. troops from Choco. Redeploy troops. Oh yeah, now I just have to redeploy my troops. Whatever, I don't care. Yeah, no, knowing that, I guess it maybe would have been better for me to attack earlier rather than take the card which let me build in build in Vopes because I theoretically could have got a a free base at the end i don't think it makes much of a difference but cartels won uh, congrats under, Wait, i'm not sure the, under what the, criteria but the, gg i mean i'm gonna we say, gotta find the tie breaks well the tie yeah. breaks is probably resources right more than yeah. likely it's probably resources and you were just like i mean we were tied for resources but i think because it's part of your win condition that's probably the tiebreaker i didn't see that in the rules though Let's oh no, the tiebreakers go to non players, then cartels, then Auk, then Fark. It's mm. like actually static. Interesting. Interesting. Where, where does it say really? that? Really? After? 7.1. 7 7.1. Or is that a solo thing? No, that's. Yeah, this is. Wow. This Interesting. Is Interesting. Wow, but that I... was. That was super close then, though, right? Because if you look yeah, at yeah. if you look at the final victory thing in the bottom right, it's like zero 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 minus two. <laughs> and and I basically spent myself spent the last oh, like yeah. four turns setting myself up for a three point swing. Yeah. Which I just like couldn't quite get in. Oh man. I wonder yeah. if there would now that I know that I could have just bought civic actions, maybe there would have been a thing that I could have done that was would have been better but whatever it's fine you probably would have still i think that the cartels would have potentially still won um because i don't think that there was any way for me to like remove your bases gg gg yeah. okay I, I, let's let's chat about it for a little bit i think that's still it still warrants like a slight debrief um so True now keep that. in mind this is the quick start scenario and we've learned it and it took us <laughs> it took us three let's say three hours right we probably this, this game does not need to be twice as long <laughs> it doesn't need to be but i think once you I th so first of all i think so it's obviously these games are better in person I, in I, sure. or at least synchronized right because of because of all the banter mm -hmm. and the stuff but i also don't like we play pax async right i think you can play this async it's just that yeah. it just goes for weeks I, right i honestly i don't think i'd ever want to play this async because i think that banter is actually really important i feel like don't you think it's PAX? i think it's important in uh, pax too Honestly, like, have you? Played yeah, I think it might be important, but I think Pax is playable without it. But I'm not sure this game I is playable think without this it. Is pl so it I think it depends on the person because I was playing it with two friends, and one other friend and myself were like, "This is great, async, async." And my other, and the third of us was like, "This, I'm not having a good time playing it, async." Um, I, I, I wonder about like, 
Go coin ahead. in general versus this coin. Because there are some coins like this, Cuba Libre, a little, well, actually uh, quite a bit, Liberty or Death, with two factions that sort of don't do anything a lot. Right. Um, and I think about other ones like Distant Plane. Even Distant Plane kind of has a drug lord faction, but like Falling Sky, which is very much like four-sided military conflict. Th these, the, the, like sitting from the point of view of cartel, like I have to be able to talk to people. Right. If I just sit here, like I can't really right. use my full tool suite well, that's so maybe me, there's what i'm saying is like if we were playing this async and we were when we still had like a discord channel open where we were doing that i think yeah. it, and and then we were playing oh, the sure. full game i kind of think it would be because yeah. i think then you can like play it pretty like oh my turn's tonight i'm going to check yeah. in with the people and blah blah like i'd be curious i'm not, all i'm saying is like i'd be curious of, to try that like it, it's discord oh, banner yeah. over in-person banner and i agree i think it still would be feasible there right like yeah. i think yeah you could still talk through that 